Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Salt and Serpent. We will be playing on the basic role-playing system by Chaosium. Thank you so much, Chaosium, for sponsoring this adventure of Rainbow Romance and Revenge. We've had a lot of revenge lately uh, from our fabulous crew. Uh, let's meet them. Hi, I'm Sage Ryan, and I'm your revenge, Piper. <laughs> Hi. She hurt. Hi, I'm Abria, uh, playing your ship, Dis. Uh, my pronouns are she, her. This is our she, it. And we're doing great, actually. Hey, I'm Rowan Hall. I am playing your surgeon, but mostly murderer, skeleton, Marlo Clark, uh, she, her, all around. Hello, I am Serena Marie. I will be playing Lyra, your navigator slash wielder of a spooky book. Um, our, both of our pronouns are she, they. And I am Kaylee Bray. I will be the captain of this crew and resident person who knows about boat stuff. Sort of. Yeah. Port, starboard, jolly boat, jolly boat. Jilly, Jilly bucket. bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Let's set sail. After an eventful day where everyone was very calm and rational and didn't do a lot of destruction and murder and robbery and nope. mayhem, which would be very unpirate-like. Unpirate. You all have come together once more on Fortune's Fair uh, as you are uh, sailing out of the cove of idle tides. Some smoke rising in the distance, potential cries of mutiny melting away behind you. You all are on deck or doing slight tasks just to make sure that this is supported uh, as I do believe she's been through it a little bit. Are, are you I'm sailing? I'm fine. No, um, I, I could. I could do it. I'm fine, actually. I don't think I need we to lay down. We have it. You look, I'm not saying- Beautiful. You, you beautiful, first of all. You Thank seem you. tired. Yes. You look beautiful. Great. Seem tired. Seem tired. And also, oh like, a little brain break is always nice, right? I don't think so. All right. You're in charge of you. I steer the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to starboard! <laughs> <laughs> do you hold on? Because you're going to do a little cartwheel. 100%. <laughs> you do a little cartwheel. <laughs> to the right. Uh, um, is anyone on deck? I'll be on deck. Cool. Um, you go hard to starboard. The damn it! I walked right into yeah. that. No. <laughs> yeah. The boom goes. Whoop. <laughs> Duck. Line the gap. <laughs> you didn't ask me to roll, so maybe I shouldn't have rolled. Nah. When you roll, baby. <laughs> no, you roll? I um, did not dodge it. Yeah. Woman overboard. I, I got Woman an over eighty-three over seventy-five. No. <laughs> yeah. Not necessarily woman overboard. Um, <laughs> roll a secondary. Grapple, dexterity. Oh, I hate to ask you for strength. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, you could hold on to it. Uh, can I climb? Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, so uh, you uh. see. No. No. <laughs> Do not laugh. We're Why? Gonna, we're I gonna see where Lucy is. Five minutes into the game. No, <laughs> not even. <laughs> so Lucy, Lucy's next to you, but also gets <laughs> hit with the boom. And Lucy, I think no. she goes straight over. Lucy, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, bones rattle. and just. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> in. <laughs> um, uh, but you could. You're the ship. So depending on how tired you are, or whether or not uh, you care. <sighs> 29. Did you just roll to care? Yeah. Cool. Well, less about care, more about notice. More about notice. I love this image. I'm climbing up the stairs and immediately just seeing <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> so here's, yeah. my, here's my dilemma. Uh -huh. Do we think those bones are still attached to each other after getting smacked by a giant oh. wooden pole and knocked off the no, edge? No, it falls into the ocean like this. Right. I they're, can't they're just <laughs> swim and collect an individual bone. <laughs> that's, that's a no lot of got time for that. Right. If Lucy was like one whole little guy, it would be a single swoop. But otherwise, I, I mean, I'd love 
to hit you with the boom and then wrap a like rope so you're kind of dangling like bait over the ocean. Oh, because that's what you 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 I always that that's what little... you got like a little safety line to wrap oh, around yeah. somebody's ankle so just you don't in touch case. Water. Yeah. So you right, yeah, you've got. But I think your nose probably comes to like <laughs> hanging upside down. Yeah. <laughs> I said, mind the gap. Oh. Uh, uh, okay, uh, and I'm gonna just try oh, to like yeah. pull you. Hard to part! <laughs> Diss! <Yes. you. laughs> and I go hard to part yeah. <laughs> to Carlos. bring her back. Uh, hey, do you wanna Smack. see if you can <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Like, grab her by the hands to try and uh, on her way over? Absolutely. Um, okay, well, what would that be? Rolling strength or. Uh, I will accept Why? any kind of like dexterity based skill or just straight dexterity or Okay. Oops, I didn't give you a ton. Um, um deck, if it's or you agility can use strength, if you'd like. Uh, yeah, some kind of agility or if you want strength, I'll let you use strength. Okay, I'll do agility. Yeah, um, go for it, go for it, go for it. And that is a success. I rolled um, a thirty five under eighty five. <sighs> nice. Yeah. Oh, boy. I like to think that you like you calculate the like trajectory and you just stand at exactly the correct point and you're you just see that hand go and you're able to got you. I got you. Do I imagine mm -hmm. you might be graceful, but I almost fell into the ocean. So I think I'm like a cat. <laughs> I was like, no, don't let me go. <laughs> hey. Hi. It's all right. It's okay. Uh you good? You good? You good? Mass head just looking out over the water doing this. And <laughs> thinking about serpentine. Thank you. We need to drop anchor, I think. Why? 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 We I, okay, one, where are we going? Two, I feel like, uh, like, Hypo, come here. Hmm? Come here, come here. I feel like, I feel like this is having a bad day. Oh, this is definitely having a bad day. Yeah. yeah. And and I don't know how to navigate a ship that's having a bad day. Right, and when the ship has a bad day, guaranteed and we're going to have, have a bad, bad day. day. You all hear in your heads, I can hear everything that happens. We care about you so much. I know, but we love you so, so much and we want you to be okay. Okay, uh, it's a group chat. Uh, it's yeah, it's yeah, an yeah. open huddle. <laughs> chat, reply all. It's, it's fine. an open huddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> obviously, Dis, we would never huddle without you. You can't. Exactly. Right. You physically can't, so. so Here's what I'll say. First priority was getting away yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. rather than getting to. So we're successfully doing that. Oh, we right. are getting further away mm -hmm. from uh, the what happened, which I still, uh, your, okay, so your ex-girlfriend was the queen. I think your other ex-girlfriend might be the queen now. No. So like, hey, where did you go? Congrats. Well, I, you just walked away. No, you see, I. No, you did. I want to go have it out with my ex. Which one? Like have it out? Oh. No, not oh. like have it out. Uh, I did break her mirror though, which sounded cooler before we got onto the ship, and I brought arguably bad luck with me. Oh, uh, I think. I think because it was aimed at my ex, the luck goes to her, and now she's not the pirate queen. So I contributed? Yes, the GM did just take a note of you saying that. <laughs> cool. What? Everything the who? is fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched you say, I did bring bad, bad luck, and her go, <laughs> Anyways, I, Rowan, brought bad luck upon this table. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, first priority was getting away. Yep. Uh, second priority is figuring out what the hell happened to Grace. So, mm -hmm. um, do Belladonna we care what happened to Grace? Sorry, I interrupted you. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I, I, I think mean, we care, right? Uh, don't you want closure on it at least? I mean, if she's dead, we should know about it at the very she least. She stole our friend. But she, she was also, she also disappeared. So I guess when Belladonna found the ship, uh, Captain Beckett was not on it. Mm -hmm. And um, the ship was easily like scooped up. So that means we don't know where Captain Beckett is at all. That's, uh, like that's the thing. Um, I won't argue that she was anything but in the wrong. She can't take this and there should be consequences for that, and that's, it's messed up and it's wrong, 
and it doesn't make any sense and I just want it to make sense and we can't just keep sailing without a captain either. Like we don't. You can be captain. I'm not a captain. What do you mean? I mean, I mean Grace is a captain, Captain Beckett is a captain. According to the pirate code, code guidelines, uh, the first mm -hmm. mate does become the captain when there is no captain. I did write that down. Yeah. I did. Uh, but she's still probably somewhere. Right, yeah, but, she but she's me. not I don't want her to be my captain here. anymore. You're, s like, I know you don't get sticky, but you're a little sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, uh. <laughs> um, obviously. Um, Haven't you been doing this for your whole life? Yes, but I, not as, like, a, not as a captain. It's a different You're thing. the most equipped person here you to do stressed. it. You seem stressed. If you don't want Captain Beckett or Grace to be your captain, then she won't be, of course. Um, Can you be the captain, please? If you want to be the captain, you do get to decide where we go. Uh, I trust you. Okay. Thank you. So then what do, what do we do if we do find Grace? Hmm? We can hold a trial. I got a brig. Or yeah. put her in the brig. But well, we can ask her a lot of questions. Even if she doesn't come back to being captain. Yeah. What if something, I don't know, like you do a bunch of like freaky shit and you do a bunch of freaky shit and there's a lot of like freaky shit in the world. And I'm just saying that like, it, it's possible that something else I don't know, we've been literally trying yeah. to possess people for like 24 hours straight. Okay. What if something has come over her? She disappeared into the middle of the ocean. Mm -hmm. She took Dis. It, it's... And then she somehow disappeared from the middle of the ocean. Okay, let's go find her. If freaky <laughs> shit didn't happen to her, I am willing to personally guarantee that it will. Fair. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe we can find her. Um, if, 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 if like freaky shit took her away, maybe we can use the arcane to find her. I have and found a lot of stuff. Uh, I found a book uh, that has language that is, seems very old. Um, and also a chart. Cause if we're looking for a, a direction, um, Maybe, and I take out the grimoire, and I take out this um, star chart, it, or not star chart, like it's a, like it was a like map. An, like a, yeah, it was a, a naval chart, something <laughs> that you, you were able to pull from the, mm -hmm. uh, the naval captain that yes. you... Yes. But it has the ship same you language as the book. It is uh, covered in the same symbols. symbols. I found these things, um, and maybe we can use them to find the captain. Or... Wait. Where did the, the ex okay, or the ex captain? We know where the grimoire came from. What's the other one? Oh yeah, I found it in the desk of the book, or the desk from the last boat we were on. The King's Guard boat? Yeah. The Starling. The Starling. Hey, I like your new wings. Thanks. I try to flap them like, oh, that's heavy. <clears throat> <laughs> They're just wooden wings. Yeah. Okay. Just Is it them. marked like? Yeah. They they share the same symbol. Um. I don't know what that means, but maybe we can translate it. Okay, so Marlo, mm. um, a fun thing that we all know now, which is like not entirely surprising, is uh, Queen Belladonna had essentially a hit out on us. Oh, yeah, 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 that um, was absolutely true. Which is like not tight, uh, obviously. <laughs> not tight at all. Um, no, it was honestly pretty rough. So we found the ledger with the King's Guard, which also means, God, imagine being such a traitor that you'd make a deal with the King's Guard. Um, and then send us out like, oh no, they're hurting my people. Please, if you don't care about me, at least about them, uh, to be killed, clearly. Yeah, like that was together. intentionally sending us to the King's Guard, uh, thinking that uh, for some reason we would be weak enough to not take a bunch of men, which is <laughs> insulting in itself. <laughs> Truly. So, uh, this stuff came from there, as well as this stuff, wings. I'll remind you that you have a couple of different uh, official looking documents, the signet ring, uh, and I was wearing the signet ring. I've been wearing <laughs> it. Been you. Um, yeah, and I have all this stuff. Okay, you wanna just like, we, we shouldn't have killed her. Well, I mean, 
oh. now I feel comfortable killing her. But at the time, I was like, you're just, I didn't know They really the wanted deal. a house tour I, for some I really reason. wanted to, like, explore their house. Next time. I just wanted to see the fun gin. And then I did. I liked to watch. Lear and Dis got to have a fun field trip, and for me, that is worth it. Uh, we can handle business on another day. All right. And now, I think she's just a regular pirate again. I think she's so. a regular pirate, which is, that suits her. Or in prison. Or worse. Depends so going back is. to kill her, not on the table for places we're going? Why? No. Right now, I would say no, because the King's Guard is monitoring that entire island, no, no, searching no, no. for right, us. You're right, you're right. Um, so Daya did suggest that we get the hell out yeah. uh, and far away. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of fire when we left, and so I feel like, ooh, maybe. Where did we leave Daya? Rising to power. Yeah. So She seems like she was doing pretty well, honestly. Right. I'd like to take one of the like official looking documents and read it, if that's yes. okay. Um, since there's like a few of them. Mm -hmm. um, so let's pick up one at random. As you like start to go to read, I just kind of pat you on the shoulder like, okay, if you're in charge, I'm gonna go to bed. And uh, I'm gonna Aww. go put myself to bed on the front of the ship. Do you drop anchor? No. How do you drop anchor? Okay. We're going. You wanna navigate? You can sail, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, navigate. Yeah. I'm going to mm -hmm. bed. Yeah, sure, great. Um, and I will. <laughs> I want this for you. Read a document. Yeah, uh, so there, you pick up a, a document, it's like a stack of what looks to be reports, and uh -huh. uh, it, they're all kind of saying essentially the same thing. They're reports of odd disappearances. Uh, you, there's a, a, some kind of uptick in raids on uh, the coastal settlements in the northeast, uh, and they are strange. Uh, there's not a lot of looting, it seems to be mostly destruction, and after every raid, there are uh, reports of disappearances of villagers, people in power, naval officers, uh, and this matches up with the rumors that you've been hearing of other pirate captains and crew members also disappearing. Oh good, they're coming for captains! Oh, That's quite funny. No. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's, I'm sorry. <laughs> Comes with the mantle, I suppose. <laughs> um, <clears throat> there isn't a ton of new in here. I mean, people in town were talking about it. Daya and mm -hmm. Belladonna were talking about it. Um, just about people going missing. Is this Solace, right? It must be. Uh, can I look? You're he next to me, so I'm going to open the book, and I would okay. love to flip through it and actually see if there's something that, I don't know, makes like a locator spell or something that makes sense. Without even realizing it, my hand like shoots out onto your shoulder, like grabbing you like nervously, just watching. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> um, that is a failure. Broken mirror. <laughs> how, 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 how failure is the failure? Uh, just tw 20 points over. <laughs> so it's 16, <laughs> I, um, but I rolled 80. Or, or it's, um, <laughs> no, no, that's worse. Okay, you, as you open this book, you get that odd underwater feeling. And you <clears throat> almost, like you can feel your lungs getting just a little heavier. Mm -hmm and the symbols swim in your vision. There is power here, mm -hmm. you can feel it. And it feels familiar. You've accessed it before, but not to this level. Uh, yeah, completely overwhelmed. Um, I think when I am starting to feel underwater, it is usually sort of like the, um, when you're underwater, like the, the depth of it, where you can still see like the mm -hmm. light and it's like very uh, clear, but like this time it's like murky as if I have descended further um, from the sun. Uh, and I, uh, my eyes flutter and I very dramatically uh, like almost faint. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's a for a later activity. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Are you fine? Um, my visions have gotten worse. Uh, so now I kind of, it's not just when I'm sleeping, sometimes it's when I'm awake and um, I think I'm fine, uh, but this book is very powerful and it feels very familiar and I just think I need more time with it. Um, so um, I'm going to figure it out for us because I have to um, and maybe you can help me, uh, but don't worry. I'm okay. No, I'll help you. Okay. Good. Great. Then we'll figure it out. Um, but don't worry. I'm good. I, uh, I just, I think, I think maybe we should all kind of take a nap. It's been a really long day. Um, do you want to take a nap and I will look through the book? Um, it's, or we could drop it in the ocean just for fun. No, no, it's important. <laughs> it's important. Um, and also, Lucy's fully in the ocean right now. I just like remembered that. Yeah, I wouldn't Did trust you just anything in that ocean with the magic book. I'm there, I am not willing to rule out that nothing in that ocean can use that thing. Are you looking over the side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've been rolling for Lucy. This <laughs> <laughs> You're seeing just like a little bit of like a splash. And they're like, it does actually look like there is something trying to swim to you, but it's a little slow. <laughs> Do you a it whole? I thought Lucy scrambled into a bunch of bones. She, they did. She did. Um, I want my skeleton back. <laughs> can And I'm going to give you the book real quick. And I would love to I just for reassembly and then I roll for swim. <laughs> nice. She's doing pretty good. <laughs> can we fishing that Lucy out? Huh? Great. Okay, I'm just gonna throw over a, like a fishing net. Thank you for saving my skeleton. Yeah, of course. They're part of you. And I rolled. What is fishing net? What? What is? What is? Grapple? Gra grapple? Agility? It would. I mean, technically, it would be straight. almost a, like a throw or a ranged attack. Mm. Okay. Um, okay. So that? that can be a straight up agility or dexterity check if you'd like. Great. Throw is a stab. Throw is its own stat. Throw is its own stat also, but I know I'm pretty sure you don't have it. So if you'd rather it be agility, I will let it be agility. Great. I'm going to, uh, yeah, it's agility. Um, I rolled 15. Ooh. Hey. Hey. Yeah. So it, I'm just. Oh, you I throw think. it in Lucy's direction. Yeah. And it just, you have to leave it trailing a little bit because. We have to collect all the bones. It, it, that's why Lucy's been a little bit behind. Lucy <laughs> needed to collect hers. Oh. Get yourself together, <laughs> yeah, girl. Get yourself together. And now it's just. It's tough, like bones that you don't have a lot of like stuff to like push against the water. It's not really hydrodynamic. So she's like, she's just doing her best. A little doggy paddle and skeleton. <laughs> she, she gets there eventually. Great, 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 great. Continuing through the documents, uh -huh. were all of them just different reports of different people going missing? Or was there anything else in the documents? Uh, it was, it was all reports of disappearances, but you would notice that it is it appears to be a pattern that is traveling steadily northeast. What kind of captains are these? <clears throat> because like, we're not gonna report to the king that our captain's gone Absolutely missing. Not. So it's not just captains. <laughs> like, no. it's not just captains. You overheard that there were captains and crew members going missing mm -hmm. on, From, like, the on idle, idle yeah. tides. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you are reading reports just of- Just like important people. Important people, um, but just like, just villagers. It was a. It is a mix of people going Amazing. missing. So it wouldn't. It doesn't follow the pattern of traditional pirate kidnappings, mm -hmm. which would be for ransom. Yeah. Uh, and there, and there aren't disappearances that lead to like murders, which would be where a lot of raiders would. Of course. Yeah. Uh, we uh, we certainly have uh, an idea of what we think it is. Um, okay. Just want to make sure we went through like everything. Mm -hmm. Did you inspect the ring and check if the ring was cursed? Oh, I should have, I should have did, I, no, I, uh, so here's the thing. I, uh, can I check now? <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'd also like to vibe check my necklace oh, for the day. Nice. I think we should yeah. daily oh, check. Oh yeah, do a curse check. Yes, curse check. Yeah, curse check. Curse check. That insight, um, I don't know anything about magic. So I'm trying yeah, to search within my feelings. I'm rolling intuition. See if you feel <laughs> yes. a little cursed today. 
I don't know. Wow. I got a 74 under 75. Whoa. Wow. Nice. I got a 45 under 53 for insight. Let's go. You don't feel cursed. Great. You don't know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 20 on this ring. You don't feel cursed at all. Oh, it's, yeah, it's just a ring, you guys. Um, but it looks like the kind of signet ring that uh, an officer or a nobleman would like use to like officiate documents, so it does Ooh. look pretty cool. It's like a candle stamp ring. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be great for forgery. Yes. <laughs> Aren't you good at that? Yeah, pro I'm so good at writing things. <laughs> like, kind of the same skill. That's the same yeah. thing. As a smuggler, you, you probably forged some stuff. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. let you have that. Our yeah. little crew is really coming together. Good job, Captain. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, what do we, do you wanna just Nap. have? Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Um, good night, good night, good night. Good night. Uh, first watch? First sleeps? <laughs> Been asleep. Already out. Been asleep. <laughs> yeah. Been asleep. But a door will open for you. Like, I'm in casino mode. <laughs> <laughs> we go from Janet mode to casino mode. So a door will open, like, towards you. Um, yeah, I take you of the book. I have the chart. And I go to bed. And as you take rests, mm -hmm. uh, feel free to pick out your uh, top, like, three most used skills that you've been using the last little bit. Do I have to pick three, or can I just say ship? You can pick two. Because okay. <laughs> I have made you roll for ship a lot. Okay. Um, and we can use the level up mechanic in this game, which is just rolling for experience since you have been successful. Um, we're treating it like a little bit more loosely, uh, but uh, roll a percentage die for each. Um, all we, three. Are we trying to roll under yeah, its if current you level? Roll under it, you, I believe. Yeah. To go up, it's like a regular skill. <laughs> yeah. How much does oh, it go up? Oh, hell yeah. Bye. Um, oh, actually, for the experience roll, it's uh, it's oh. higher than your current skill oh, percentage. Oh, it is over. That's right. It's the Thank only one that's God over. God, I rolled a 98. Oh, my you God. Saw that, right? Yeah, 100% I did. <gasps> okay, and then what do we do after oh, wait, that? Oh, no, it's 80. Uh, one second. Uh, so after that, you are going, if it's successful, then um, roll a d6. Okay. And then improve, improve it by that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, I'm not asleep yet, but I'll prepare for it. So feel free to level up a little bit. You've got, you guys have been doing a lot. You've been doing the most for a, a, a little bit, and so you have started to gain some bonuses from that. Hooray! Um, as you finally have a chance to catch your breath a little bit. Um, Still not sure where you're going. No, absolutely that's not. My, idea. That's, I'm not in charge of that anymore. Someone else is driving the ship, and somewhere else, someone else is deciding. Right now, we'll, we'll coast, but we'll look at that chart. Oh, I didn't get much. Yeah, um, didn't get while much. we're still <laughs> awake, uh, where do you want to post up on the ship? Do we want to be on like... Yeah. Where would you like to be for a watch? Do you want to go to the front of the boat and keep watch? <laughs> Quietly to not wake this. And I can take the back of the boat. Okay. She's asleep. I'm going to be so quiet. Um, while we do keep watch, I think in general, I'll be kind of like moving about the boat. Um, generally, this is my time for like upkeep on the boat. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's like beyond the usual like, oh, we make sure we have our rations and stuff like this. Piper's rather meticulous with making sure that like surfaces are cleaned and like wiped down and cared for and like checking for like rot in the wood and like a really detailed kind of inventory of the status of the boat uh and i also know that belladonna had made some repairs to the boat i think i don't know where the damage was i'd like to try and suss out what happened to the boat that belladonna had to repair in between the times when we last saw fortune's fair so roll two things for me roll a spot check and roll your uh, repair Okay, I have a 30 for spot check under 43. Okay. Um, and then for repair, I do not have a success on it. Um, I have a, a little less than 10 over. Okay, so I'll say this. You don't notice any visible damage or like visible like patchwork. Okay. Um, I will say with your spot check though, are you, are you trying to go through every single place in the ship like from Stem to stern. Yeah, I think we've got a few hours, so if we're like sitting on separate sides anyways, I'll just use that time to like really investigate 
I want to know, like I want the ship to tell me what happened while it was disconnected from Dis. If you want to take below deck, I'll go up into the crow's nest so things are not left unwatched while you do this Great. work. Yeah. Great, yeah. So this is something that I would imagine that you two take watches together a lot so yeah. that you can uh, perform essentially this ritual mm -hmm. and um, Marlo knows that when you go low, she can go high and uh, share in that, in that burden and that labor. So looking around the ship, you're able to check and, and, and do your regular like, polishing and organizing and able to like set things back to right in the way that Dis prefers things. Mm -hmm. uh, you notice little signs that the ship was sailed alone for a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, odd rigging and weird like jerry rigging of the tiller and uh, the, like, the way some of like, the sails are reefed to show that Grace did have to be a little bit crafty to sail this on her own. Mm -hmm. And she did do that on her own. Okay. Uh, you notice that the second jolly boat is gone. The rest of the boat seems relatively untouched, although it was absolutely like looted. So all of your, the, the original inventory is gone, although you We've have restocked. replenished. <laughs> yeah. uh, going into the captain's quarters, mm -hmm. the bed oh. doesn't <laughs> look slept oh. in. The desk is in disarray, and hard to tell if that was from Captain Beckett or from Belladonna's crew and just their general. Is anything left behind? There are some things left behind. Uh, you notice that there are a, a sizable stack of charts scattered on the desk, and there is one that looks to be uh, covering the northeastern waters, which are notoriously uncharted for the most part, and you can see in Grace's handwriting, which you would recognize at this point, as though like Absolutely. there is a course almost being sketched out from memory, and there are things that are like crossed out, and it's like as though she was attempting to plot a course and wasn't exactly sure of herself there. You haven't been in those waters in a very long time. Not since Fortune's Fair became Fortune's Fair. Is that closer to like where the like mutiny happened essentially, or like the like where we got abandoned? Yeah. Okay. Remind me how successful your your spot check was. What's your? I had score? a uh, thirty like a under forty three. Okay. Is there? Does that like? Are you um, staying there? Are you trying to investigate further? Are you moving around the ship and looking for other things? I want to roll up that particular like mm -hmm. star chart map um, to <laughs> pass to someone smarter than me later <laughs> uh, when she wakes up. <laughs> but uh, I will put that like on my person for now, so I can do like a pass off when we trade watches. Um, because at this point, like. Nothing makes sense anymore, and I'm afraid if I turn away, it'll disappear. Um, so I'm going to keep it on my person. Um, and then I would just finish investigating the captain's quarters, and I think that she's like really taking it in, uh, in this like identity crisis of, oh no, I'm in Grace's room. Oh no, I'm the captain. Are you looking for anything else in particular? Are you like investigating the captain's quarters? This is like not a leading question. I just want to make sure. Uh -huh. uh, I promise. Um, are you are you looking for anything in particular? Uh, is there anything that you are doing in in this room that? My full intentions are to a try to familiarize myself like it's my room, uh, and b try to see anything that was not like that was left behind by Grace in particular. Um, Cause Grace has been with me and us for a long time. And I deeply in my heart and soul believe she would know everything we've done since she left. That she would predict it. That she would know that we would end up here. Even if she didn't know what was going to happen to her, she would know that we would follow her and we would find a way. And seeing if she left anything to tell me that she didn't just abandon us. So instead of spot, now roll insight. <laughs> Wait, is spot higher? No, insight's good, I'm just stressed. <laughs> um, you know what, I have a failure. Can I expend luck for that? How many do you need to spend? 10. Huh. Huh. 
You can. Yeah, I will. That's a big move. A reminder that uh, in this world, luck, your, your luck is your power. Yep. And that doesn't replenish. It's worth it. You start to retrace Grace's steps. And in a moment of desperation, you sit on the bed and lie back, trying to get inside this woman's head, your friend, one of your closest friends, someone you love. Maybe you still love her. Someone you want to believe the best in. And that's when you notice the slightest irregularity in one of the deck planks <gasps> in the ceiling above your head. Look, like it's like sticking out? It looks like it's a little crooked, like it's shifted beneath one of the others as though it can be moved. Uh, I will reach up and I'll be like, I'm, I'm sorry, just, I hope this is okay. Um, I will just like, <laughs> hey, if you, uh, I, oh, uh, I'm just gonna, okay. And I will try to scoot it. <laughs> Uh, and as you scoot it, you see that there is a box kind of like up in a like hidden space, like a little one. Mine. Hmm? Does it have a lock on it? Nope. I will open the box. Uh, inside that box, you, uh, you see two things that are very strange. You see a large uh, conch shell um, that appears to be carved and inlaid with symbols that are now very familiar to you. You don't know what they mean, but it looks exactly like the book and the chart. You also see a tiny little glass bottle that has been broken, and there's the uh, traces of black sand spilling from it. And you recognize that because all of you have one, and you all swore never to use it unless it was a dire emergency. What does it do? The last time that you received all of this, that you received this token, the last time you met the witch, the price was too dear and Grace and all of you left empty handed. But for that pouch of black sand that would lead you back to the aisle when you were ready to pay that price. What did we want from the witch initially? What were we paying for? Grace told you that it was the only way to avert disaster and bring your old captain, Captain Delilah, back to you to save the ship. And the witch met with Grace alone at first. She'd intended to meet with each of you one by one. Grace insisted that she went first and they had a conversation and Grace stormed out and took the rest of you with her. I will tuck the box back up for now, careful not to touch the sand. Um, just freaky. Uh, and I will put it back into the ceiling board because um, I think it's about time to switch watches. When you wake up, I will hand you the star map. Oh, um, this was in the captain's quarters. It looks like um, Grace was plotting to go we, somewhere. This, and um, it is like she is drawn a place from an imagination. She, this is a navigational map where yeah, she's yeah. trying to essentially plot a route. Right. So, but like it's an unknown, an uncharted. It's uncharted. So the it. It's as though she is trying to, out of memory, you see her like scratching out like little islands and, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. um, other landmarks and trying to like replace them or shift them slightly to see if she did mm -hmm. remember. Uh, thank you. Uh, Grace is looking for something. Um, I'll compare maps and we'll see what we can see. Thank you. Of course. Northeastern mm -hmm. Sea? That's th is that the direction that we met the witch in? It's the direction you met the witch in. It's the direction um, that we had the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And it's also the direction in, in where the disappearances are happening. Cool. cool. Everything's good. fine and good. I'm going to bed. Go to sleep, please. Uh, <laughs> good night. <laughs>
Okay. And we sail southwest. <laughs> <laughs> so in um, Lyra's room, um, like her quarters, you see like a lot of um, like hand drawn like maps and like um, just like a lot of it's very cluttered with like papers. Um, I would like to um, t like unroll the both of the coordinates mm -hmm. or both of the charts, and I want to see um, if I can discern pattern from them as navigator. Before you do that, yeah because I intended to do this when you woke up, so let's do this now. Roll, roll a cult. Sweet, okay. Uh, Ooh, gasp. <laughs> I got 33 under 63. Woo! Yeah! So as you start to stare at these charts, mm -hmm. your eyes grow heavy for a second. Mm -hmm. You start to feel that's so bad. I'm so sleepy. Why do we laugh? Why? <laughs> you start to feel Fired. that blurriness come in mm -hmm. as. The I'm still up in the crow's nest. Oh, the we're changing still over. Up. No one got me. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Your eyes blink as you remember the dream mm -hmm. that you had almost as it comes back to you in a flash as you open your eyes for a second and you feel different as you are staring up at the ceiling that looks as though it is the captain's quarters and all you hear is this like the tick, 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 in the ceiling of um, almost like crab claws or pincers and it's just like tick, 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 and it's starting to surround you this tick, 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 and then thunder rumbles and you awake oh uh, it's just been a moment <clears throat> okay. Um, Lyra is doing her best to be like, I'm fine. This is fine. Um, but now I want to go to the captain's quarters. Sure. Is that okay? Yeah. Should I roll for the map first? Or should I just go? That's a question for me. I'm just yeah. gonna go. Yeah. Are you asleep uh -huh. in the captain's quarters? That's a, such a good question. Uh, the door is locked. I don't care if you locked it or not. Mm -hmm. The door's locked. Oh. I'm like, I'm scared for whoever's inside. But also I understand like you lock the doors. You lock the doors. So there is a reason that you locked the doors. I would I would surmise, mm -hmm. um, and so I'm it's such a sleepy girl. I'm just like <laughs> I'm such a sleepy girl, and I'm panicked, and I'm stressed, and I'm a little like sweaty from being stressed. And I I think uh, you would know that I'm in there. Yeah, yes. and you also like, like could not. Yes. You just like, I could, like but also door. I I don't if it's if it, a door is locked and I'm somebody's in there, they're sleeping. I don't lock doors. <laughs> There's boundaries, and sure. I <laughs> respect them. <laughs> um, yeah, so I yeah go back into the room, and I am very anxious, and I'm gonna look at the maps again. Yeah. And so here's the thing. <laughs> I rolled a hundred. <laughs> at the maps? So, yeah, at the maps again. So we've rolled so many hundreds. I in this I can campaign. describe Statistic something improbable. and then you yeah. can just great. I yeah. for sure ship sinks. <laughs> ship ship sinks. Um, I am overwhelmed. I'm just I'm filling with anxiety because I always know where to go. Without a captain, I do not know where to go right now. Well, we have a captain, but we're we have a captain. You have a captain. I'm trying, it's new. No, no, you have a captain. <laughs> Without... I haven't even figured out what my captain name is yet. We <laughs> have a captain. I'm sorry. <laughs> How are you not Captain Piper Peter? Is all I'm saying. Oh. Because Peter's the octopus, and I have a last name, but we'll get into it later. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm just—it's been a lot. It's been a really long day. Um, I look at the map. I um, kind of sink. Like I, my brain sinks into the map and then um, 
yeah, I, I, I'm fully underwater in my brain. Um, and so whatever you want to happen to me with 100, go ahead, go for it. Kill it. It's fine. I mean, you stare at these charts mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they start to again swim in your vision and almost as though they are blurring into a single <laughs> huge chart with uh, plots and courses that squiggle and move and change and transform as you are thrust into a vision, a recurring nightmare almost, it feels like, something you have seen over and over and over. And you, you've mentioned it once or twice, but because it happens so often, it does feel more to you like a nightmare, not anything that would be considered a premonition, as you find yourself again, almost ankle deep in black volcanic sand, standing on a shore and you can see just the little hints of bright white bones stark against that black sand just little hints popping up here and there and you can feel yourself drawn deeper and deeper under that sand as though you are being pulled underwater but so much worse and it's heavy, and it's dark, and you can't see, and you are lost. Oh. When I come out of it, um, I am choking, um, and like retching over the map, and out of my mouth is a long piece of seaweed. Uh, as you're doing that, I think the, like, the oil lamps in the room you're in are going to flare up, and an oil lamp up in the crow's nest is going to flare up. Oh, I'm. I know what that means. I'm going Captain down Quarters immediately. Too? No, I let you sleep. You got to get some sleep. Cut to Piper laying in the captain's bed, fully awake. <laughs> or are you just awake? <laughs> oh! She's trying to sleep, but literally just laying in the bed, like imposter syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. staring at the plank in the ceiling. It's fine. You, oh, I think there's, like a, I think there's a little flicker of the oil flame to be like. Optional. <laughs> I just got a you up text from my boat. <laughs> <laughs> so you head straight to Lyra's quarter. I am going to follow the oil lamps to yeah. wherever the problem is. Yep. Flare, 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 flare down to the room. And as I go, I'm like pulling out my pistol. Like, I don't know what's going on. We're ready. I don't know what's happening. I just saw a light, uh, and I'm not smart enough to like follow the, the, especially because this was like its own thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to run up to the deck, to like the front of the boat, to look for Dis, and drop a pen. <laughs> <laughs> On my way. Is Lyra's door locked? No. Okay, oh, that's a question for you. Yeah, it's okay. No, I, yeah. if I'm trying to get you there, then it's fully like it's it doesn't matter open. if it was locked. like it like yeah, yeah I don't respect like, a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the two genders are respect a lot. Don't respect not a lot. <laughs> so interesting. Amazing. Um, respect my locks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to just like slam my way through like pistol. Mm -hmm. Checking on you so so fast, I'm cl almost clumsy storming yeah, into the room. Yeah, you would just see uh, Lyra just so like <laughs> coughing um, and like a um, just over the maps and like the the piece of like seaweed like on top of the maps and it is. I don't know. It's pretty gross. Are you still retching up ocean life? I mean, just the one. <laughs> Just the one just, piece. <laughs> I just checked. Just one ocean life. Yeah. Yeah. Just happening yeah. the situation. Yeah, yeah. So just, there's just like a, a so, like a, a like almost like a rotting piece of seaweed on top of the map. I am um, hands, both hands on the table, just like coughing, <clears throat> uh, and I'm coughing so hard that I don't see you walk in. Oh, pistol yeah. away. Yeah, yeah. Are you okay? Breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's getting so bad. It's getting so bad. Um, and I um, slide the the seaweed. Oh, We're life. not the ocean life. <laughs> We're not worried about the maps. No, but but we have to know where we're going. Let's just um, and, and I'm gonna like lead you to the floor. 
instead of being in the okay. chair. Okay. Um, so the maps are out of the way. We're going to be a little more secure on the floor. We don't have to know where we're going. Dis is sailing the ship. Piper is our captain. If we never go anywhere ever again, it doesn't matter. And I'm going somewhere. I, I feel, I feel this pull and push beneath the waves. And every time I touch things that are of these symbols, I'm pulled deeper. And there's a part of me that's reaching back. And and I can't see the sun anymore. And I don't want to worry anyone, but I'm f falling deeper into whatever that is. And I'm scared. I'm so scared. What do I do? You're the most magical person I know. What do I do? Am I sick? Is there something wrong with me? No, no, there's nothing wrong with you. Well, there has to be. N no, absolutely not. Uh, other people's worry is not your responsibility. Uh, but my worry is my responsibility, isn't, isn't it? What, um, I have to know what's happening or I will continue to drown. I don't want to be lost. I'm not gonna let you get lost. Okay. Do you have the book? You should get the book. Can you help me read it? Yeah. Try this again. Um, I put my hand on your hand and I look at the maps again. Can I spend some power? <laughs> Ocean legs. <laughs> Very soggy. Okay. Can I spend some power to help her? Yeah, you absolutely can. You also are welcome to. Um, well, actually, you wouldn't know how um, to do this without your power. You've never tried to read a grimoire, a grimoire on your own. So I, I will say this. You can attempt to um, muddle along and make a, a roll to see if you can assist her. Or for a more guaranteed success, you can absolutely spend power. Are you trying to do that through Lyra, or are you doing it on your own? I want to bolster her so that she doesn't feel like she's by herself in the dark. How much power do you want to spend? Enough. Okay. We need power for you too, though. Why don't you roll and we'll see okay. what you might need. Yes. Um, and I'm wearing Elizabeth still. You are still so wearing Elizabeth. She's just a vibe right now. We're just hanging out. Yeah, Elizabeth, is trying, Elizabeth <laughs> has been trying. She's like, okay, everyone's having a moment. I'm just, I'm not here. Just pretend like I'm not here. I'm just a bracelet. I'm just a beautiful I'm bracelet. I'm just a bracelet right now. Do you <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm rolling um, a cult. Uh, or navigation. Great. I'm going to roll navigation. Um, and that is a 59 under 80. Nice. Under 80. This is a difficult thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, the more you give her, the more successful she actually will be. Uh, she is currently going to be able to decipher a little, but you can already tell that if you don't want her to feel alone, you can't bring her up to you. You have to go down with her. Right.
So should I be spending PowerPoints or should I be rolling for something to do that? I will allow you to make that choice uh, with the understanding of the consequences of using your power. Would I be rolling projection then? Because that's how I access my power. Yeah. If not. Okay. Are you, but are you putting, are you projecting your power to the place you used to be or through or into Lyra or Lyra? My understanding of my power is it's stored in my heart. So to be able to access it at all, I have to like reach to get it. And that's very expendable. And every time I do it, I like it beats less. Okay. So, so I'm trying to like bring some of that energy here. It's like grabbing sand. <laughs> Roll projection. Can I be weird while this is happening? Sure. Uh, if you came onto the deck to find this, for you. Uh, this is going to climb off of uh, like the prow of the ship and come to you and say, oh, you're the captain. OK. And starlings are very good at mimicry. And this is something that Dis has always done for all of her captains, which is if they ask for it, she will give them a live feed of what's happening. And I'm just mm -hmm. feeding you this conversation mm -hmm. in a fairly good approximation yeah. of both of their voices. I was really hoping Incredible. you were going to use that. <laughs> it was I such a good bird. I was like, oh, what a good bird. <laughs> I gave yes. you a bird fact. You're welcome. Always against my will. <laughs> <laughs> Piper is like a little bit terrified. And it's like doing her best to suppress a little bit of fear of your abilities. Sure. Um, I, did, I knew you could listen. I didn't know you could do that. Only for the captain. And sometimes I say, when we don't tell people secrets, but this seems like an important one. She's doing the water thing again. Has it been happening a lot? Yeah. <laughs> How would Captain Beckett uh, have protected her? Captain Beckett knew the value of her visions and let it happen. I don't think anyone's protecting her. A captain's supposed to protect everybody. What will you do? Also, maybe they're going to kiss, so maybe don't go. I won't interrupt. Um, <laughs> I... I think her visions are important. I don't want to follow them to her detriment. I don't want to... We all benefit from Lyra's insight, and I don't want her to follow that insight to her death. But it is it is hers, and um, something is weird. Weird is happening, and it's all connected. Did you know about the box in the captain's quarters? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense why Grace would have had uh, the same symbols as the grimoire, and every all of these things were found in completely different places, and we're pirates. Nothing. It's not all supposed to be connected. Everybody's supposed to be on the seas looking out for themselves and doing their own things. And all of a sudden there is this larger network and web of conspiracy and magic that doesn't make any sense. It's not just ships and gold. Being a, being a pirate is just ships and gold. No, it's not. It was. You can get gold other ways. And there are plenty of ships that sail that are not like us. I think being what we are was always a little different. You're definitely different. <laughs> so are you Captain? I can't be Captain Piper. That's weird. It's it doesn't work. Last name. Everyone's got two names. My 
last name is Taken. Taken? Captain Taken. Uh, no, I'm sorry. No, I should have actually caught that. Uh, my last name is Price. Piper Price. Price. Captain Price. The problem is there is already a Captain Price. We'll go kill the other one. That's not a no. <sighs> we, we can just let Piper sit in the implications of uh, sailing out to kill her father. Yeah, while uh, y your yep. ship friend is also parroting uh, the scene happening in the decks below. Yeah. Oh, anyway, for? it sounds like they're back to the maps. Okay. And then they just stick <laughs> back in. <laughs> what happens? Uh, what was your projection roll? I rolled a 47 under 55. <sighs> Thank God I just raised that stat. Did <laughs> <laughs> you guys take a nap? I didn't take a nap. Well, you rest. You did like you like haven't been like active. active this is my for nap. A second. This is your nap. It was supposed oh, to be your no. nap, um, but you, you know you you haven't been actively fighting for your life for like I don't know fifteen whole minutes. You reach out for that heartbeat. And now you feel that pull and you start to understand. And you always kind of did. It's one of the reasons why this closeness between you and Lyra has developed. When she speaks about being drawn under the surface and beginning to lose the vision of that light as it gets darker and darker. You know that feeling, you know that image so well. But now you feel the heaviness again of almost being buried in sand. As though you're drowning in more than water. As that doof, 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 doof. you feel and hear that heartbeat slow just a touch. And that rush of power fills you, feels different. And your hands feel a little different and you just hear that low, quiet, smug laugh trail across your consciousness ever so briefly in a way that used to be warm and familiar and deeply intimate. And you feel watched. But you can reach out now to this figure that you feel drowning beside you. And you can pass this power to her. In the same way that I had to give up some of my energy to animate the skeleton, I am want to give some of my time and energy to her so that she feels stronger and so that maybe the light that's filtering through that water is a little bit brighter um, and she doesn't feel like she's by herself. I think that Lyra has had like varying degrees of vision since she was a kid um, but it, they're they're always alone right um, but the first time somebody is in the water with her she doesn't see you necessarily but like Lyra reaches out a hand and feels your hand there looks to the to the the light shining through the water surface and um, for the first time, tries to swim up. And there is a moment of resistance as you feel whatever is there trying to hold both of you now down. But as the way that you would, when you were children, mm -hmm. uh, diving in the shallows, bend your knees and just jump mm -hmm. and push uh, yeah. as though both of you are together, springing out from the deeps, mm -hmm. 
you feel your head break the surface and you see that Marlo is next to you. And as your hands, clasped hands now, uh, join you above the water, you do notice that your very, very tips of your fingertips look as though they might have developed a little bit more of a bony cast. Do I see that? Mm-hmm. Um, and as we pull away that, can I, can I say a warm thing? Please. Yeah. Great. Um, can I hear the heartbeat for a second? Yes. Do I know about the heart? Great. Um, so as our fingers, um, break, the vision breaks, mm -hmm. um, and we're staring at the map. Mm -hmm. Well, it's new. <clears throat> you. I'm sorry. N don't be. I didn't know that was going to happen. No. We can no, find a way to fix that. I don't need to I'm be so fixed. This is sorry. okay. Hey. I You're fine. Thank you. Thank you. Now, um, when I look at the map, what do I see? Do I know? You start, it starts to make more sense. You start to see some shapes. Okay. So this naval chart, now that you see it, is uh, the course that is like plotted by these symbols isn't the kind of course that you would plot. It's not linear, but it appears to be making a shape along uh, a unknown cluster of islands. Mm -hmm curved serpentine almost shape that makes almost a complete circle. And in the corner, after staring at it for a brief moment, mm -hmm. as you start to use just your deduc deductive skills and, and after researching for a long time. I have a researcher stat. Yeah. Cracking the code almost, all you see stamped in the corner, you begin to translate a phrase that simply says, here there be monsters. <sighs> and and uh, this whole thing, you can describe the visions. I'm not sure you see them, but you definitely can share anything that has been said out loud. Yeah. It, yeah. it probably just looks like two people They're holding, holding hands. hands and just <laughs> looking incredibly vacant yeah. at them. Like their brains have turned off. <laughs> Honestly, I think they're dead. <laughs> I run. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. This yeah. said that they held hands and died. <laughs> yeah. That's what I said. Um, I will run to the room. Yeah. Door was probably left unlocked, at least, when you went in. Uh, and the two of you were just like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, and I describe everything that you said about the map. Oh, they're not dead. Just you all here in the room. <laughs> uh, is this like how when you go to sleep, your cat thinks that you died? <laughs> Sometimes I bat you in the face just to see if you're still alive. <laughs> you do that with rope. You're just like yeah. <laughs> surprised every time you wake up. Uh -huh. Oh, good morning. Um, I didn't know that fact. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they just get scared. That's why they step on you in the morning. <laughs> Hello? And they don't understand that you sleep in? Like if you sleep in like late, they're like, oh no. Oh god. Oh she's no. Oh. <laughs> oh god. I'm just gonna open hands. Hands. <laughs> Um Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so glad you're not dead. Are you good? Uh are you good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um uh it's I'm better. Um there, everything is connected, and that's super weird, right? That's I was so just saying that, yes. They shouldn't be connected. They shouldn't, hold on, hold on. And I'm gonna run back to the captain's quarters really quick, and I'm gonna grab the box. Everything is connected. You have now spread back. the uh, the chart that the captain was sketching yeah. out, the chart you found. Yes. You can you can now see that it like is literally connected. Uh-oh. Yeah. And usually the only way that things are connected is like running into your exes. Usually it's just connected by like other hot girl pirates. That's the only connections I have. I don't want to sound too woo-woo, but things are connected. 
Like other than people you've kissed? Uh, yes. Or stolen from? Yes. Well. Shit. <laughs> I, I, you know, like, I guess if, if. I just peek in. Hey, your fingers are wrong. Oh my God, your fingers are wrong. Yeah, come in, let's. Yeah, well, this it's been a really. I'm so sorry. So apologize. I'm I so like sorry. It. Well, it's good. For we're me. not gonna use the word wrong anymore to describe Lyra, okay? Well, I mean they're wrong, and that's that's not what they were like. They before. were different, and different's good. Okay. I'm. I don't, will fix it. Don't, no, it's like. Uh, uh, what does circle mean? I'm gonna hand you the conch <laughs> shell yes. uh, that has uh, a bunch of the symbols from the book, or at least very comparable to the symbols in the book, uh, like etched into it. Uh, Grace had this hidden in the captain's quarters. Mm -hmm. So Grace knew about all of this, and now they're missing. Um, it turns out it might have been, um, it might have been like planned in some way. Like, the, the rowboat is gone, and uh, I'll pull out the rest of the box, and the black sand is also gone. The black sand is gone? Oh. Is everyone just chasing their exes? What? Pretend I didn't say that. Um, no! <laughs> Wait, no. You said it. We, we just... Come on! <laughs> like, half of the ship has slept with Grace, and then we ended up with Belladonna, who I... Definite. And then there was Daya and Delilah and Grace. Come on! I mean, if we're all connected via exes, this right. actually you either stole makes from sense them or you slept to, with them, and sometimes yeah. both. Oh. Has anybody held the conch up to their ear? Uh, well, well okay. You can do I distinctly have not. It's that sounds like an activity for me. That's great um actually can i touch the conch to the arm that has elizabeth because she's been real quiet <laughs> and i want to know what was happening oh hello sorry it felt like a private moment i wasn't sure if i should interrupt no can only yes. yes. hear her <laughs> <laughs> iconic so i'm just <laughs> my eyes glaze over <laughs> fully spooky she's um powering down <laughs> <laughs> uh, i are you all right? Uh, yeah, no. Truthfully, no. I am quite awful. Yes, I I can feel it a little bit. Um, does any does anything make sense to you? You've been alive, um, a ghost, perhaps for so long. You know a lot of things. Do these symbols mean anything to you? Just. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know if I've ever really seen anything like this before. For no one's brought that really to the island. Um, That's cool if you don't symbols. know. But I, I have seen people listening to uh, the shells like that, or, or, or blowing through them to make noise. You see, Lyra. It's, I have seen that. Great. You see, Lyra. Like, just vacant. Slow moving, putting the conch to their ear. Don't die. Roll. No. Hmm. Two can, more episodes. You can roll an occult. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, that is a uh, forty-eight under sixty. Or two, three. So I'm gonna say this. You do hear the ocean. Great. I love the ocean. And you hear a low, Beautiful. masculine oh, no. laugh. Just again, creeping across your consciousness. Very briefly. Do you say I love the ocean out loud? <laughs> I do. <laughs> and it's very big. I love the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear a voice that you haven't heard in a very long time. Hello? What? Phone, yeah, <laughs> and it's just a shell phone. It's just a oh, and then 
I'm so sorry to do this to you. You feel like a very large, like jet black, um, like crab claws as it comes like out of the shell. I'll try to help get a crab off of you. You're already in it, and I'm just trying to like no, no, on her, or is it still in the shell? It's it is in it is absolutely it's in the shell. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you like pull it away. Now you are kind of back to consciousness, and Elizabeth is like, oh, I didn't expect that, oh no. Uh, I, I, I mean, can I just, huh, like I catch it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can just catch the You got like out. a little, um, it's, I mean, it's big. It's a, it's a conch shell with essentially what looks like a like obsidian black hermit crab yeah. kind of poking out of it. And the uh, symbols on it are beginning to glow ever so slightly. Real wow. quick, not to be the person who knows nothing, but is that what lives in conch shells? No. No. Conches live in conch shells. The little but guys with the empty, eyes and the goo, But when they're right? empty. But when they're empty, hermit crabs can take them over. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Well, hermit crabs tend to not be obsidian black, so this one is a magic boy. But a conch shell is like a McMansion for a hermit crab. Yeah, it's like spreading. Well, this one's a big boy. This guy, this is a big, <laughs> a big boy. And I'm just making little clicks at him. The symbols are glowing. Uh, oh, uh, what is hold it? please. Dis, do you speak crab? Yeah. That's so cool. I <laughs> think uh, <laughs> The symbols on the shell are glowing? Very slightly. Uh, the question is, is that connected to the hermit crab or to you? Yeah, that's what why I'm like, what? a magical hermit crab. It's a little guy. It's a little guy. Do we Can, know what the symbols are? Can you like, I'm sorry, this is not all on you. No, no, I, no, hey, I, I got it. You guys, I, uh, hey, does, you know, come here? Mm -hmm. Um, Can you put the, the, the guy on the map? Little guy on the map. I'm gonna put him down on the map. All right. The crab <laughs> starts to scuttle, mm. and it like starts to go off the table and like try to like leave the room. Oh no no no! Is this move. what you want? No, 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 no. I, let him go right by me. Like this is what you want. No, I, I thought that maybe, and I, I, I try mean, to. It is possible the hermit crab is just a hermit crab that is scared of us. You would know that. What did the hermit crab say? Do you just speak it or do you understand it? I learned a lie. Uh, he wants, he's gonna go to the bathroom. He's gonna go to the bathroom? Yeah. Can I insight check your lie? Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would say that you in particular know all of Dis's tells. Yeah. Uh, that is a success. <laughs> I don't speak crap. <laughs> it's also, you can tell, not really a crab. So it also doesn't speak crap. Yeah. It's glowing and obsidian, like it's yeah. not really crap. That's not real. It's a little magic guy. Do you want, <laughs> he's going, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm just kinda holding it like this. Uh, roll to, cause. <gasps> yeah! Roll for crab! How do I roll for crab? He's on the run. Yeah. What do I do? This can be like an agility or dexterity unless you have something that is a little bit more relevant. Um, uh, let's go agility. I thought you were gonna roll for shit. I rolled a three. Ha! Oh, wow. So good. I think. There's one of those things where it's like, it's fully a no look, like I'm telling a little lie and imme immediately, uh, immediately admitting it. But I am the ship and I can move with that, like with perfect like muscle memory. So it's just like, take one step to the right and then slide in front of the door and like flip the, cr like, the crab in the shell up with my boot because I saw everything that was happening without <gasps> having to look at it. Uh, I look in the box, is the like obsidian crab, does it look like it's like made of the, the sand essentially? Shit. The sand from the vials that we all have for the witch. We can't, we can't go back it's there. A, it's we a witch crab. To. We have to go back there. No. We should Why? consult a spookiness expert so you're not the only one who feels like you have to know everything. Well, that's the, the that place is the, it's bad. It's, 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 it's. Well, that's where Grace went. It might oh. be. Okay, okay. Her okay. sandal's gone. Yeah. It'll be okay. If she made it. I don't. She's dead or at the beach. <laughs> Do you I'm remember? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when we went to see the witch? Grace didn't even let us talk to her. Grace got us out so fast. It was suspicious at best. I don't. Coming from you? I'm an expert. Yeah. Fair. 
I don't like to say that Grace had ill intentions or... I'll say it, she probably had ill intentions, Piper. Or she was uh, protecting us, like her note said, when she left and abandoned all of us on that island with Elizabeth. Oh. It could be both. She, she has... did what she thought was best, but maybe she wasn't good at knowing what was best. She was. But I don't know what the witch said to her. If she's gonna talk to anybody, she's supposed to talk to me about it. And if she was gonna talk to anybody else, Dis would know about it. And she didn't tell anyone what that witch said to her that made her leave like that. What, uh, we, sh we should, we should see the witch. You're, you're right, we should go, we should. Um, all kinds of things with symbols. Do we just travel with a It will be fun. Now? Which way do we go? Get it? Cause you're a witch's I little crap guy. <laughs> It's quite funny. Do we have like an enclosure? Oh, uh, mm, 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 I have the, the box. The box. The, the, the <laughs> I'll poke some holes in the box. I mean, the crab was in there the whole time. Yeah, I'm not sure if a magic crab needs to breathe, but I also don't want to risk rolling up and having a dead magic crab. We should, and I get like the, the little weird piece of Worth seaweed, it. and I'm trying to make... Like we're making a habitat. Habitat. It's where it's, it's we're creating. It's what it's used to. I'm just checking. Put some magic in there for enrichment. Where's Lucy? Get free bones. We are not <laughs> giving the crab my bones. I animated. Where is she? Did she make it back on the ship? I <laughs> cast the net, and then I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> she's just she's in the net. The net. <laughs> She's currently being towed in a net behind the ship. I bet we've got so many more crabs in there too. We have. We got hella we crabs. Have, yeah. We have dinner. Also, we have hella crabs. We've got crabs, everybody. No. <laughs> the salt and serpent. We've got crabs. Woo! Okay, so just checking. We go. don't think that if we put the crab on the map, it's gonna like scuttle to the place where it should go on the map. I, I think I tried that. that was gonna happen. I tried that. You, you try to run. So I don't trust this crab. I like that. Yeah. It was a good thought. It was a good thought. Just to like history reinvestigate. Mm -hmm. Um, the black sands that we have yes. was intended to be broken when it was time to go back and visit the witch. It was intended to be used to find your way back. And that was all you knew. That was all Grace told you. Great. Well, I've got mine. Do the sand thing. The you did it in the tower. It was very cool. Oh, you feel the crab now again trying to move somewhere. Oh, or use the crab. Okay, do you want to put it on the map again? He's going to run. He's going to run. run. He's going to run. I shake him like a like magic a eight ball. And put him on the thing. <laughs> okay. Dizzy. I have two theories. One, we take the sand and let Lyra do the cool sand thing where she found our heading. Or two, whichever direction the crab keeps trying to crawl is the direction we turn the ship. Yeah, this crab, I think, is the navigator The right crab now. then goes to run again and starts to just leave the room. Follow the crab. Oh. Leave the room? Did you go to pick the crab up? Yeah. I just like... You got to roll for it. <laughs> I had to roll for it. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, what is it? A dodge? Well, we were watching for it, so I guess... Is it a dodge or what? It could be a dodge. Sure. I wish it wasn't. <laughs> is there, is there it. do you have a different... Uh, no, uh, a dodge is fair. Scale? I'm trying to dodge claws. Uh, that's fair. I, I fail. I would like to remind everyone that I'm all of the boat, so... I'm not gonna let the crab get off the boat if that's not what we want. Oh, yeah, let's keep the crab. Well, after I get clammed. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just get a little... I assume. But do, are you trying to pick it up? Because yeah. if you miss, then it just keeps running. Oh, okay, I thought I was rolling to not get snapped at by it. No, okay, then yeah, I just missed. Yeah, off it goes. Uh, let's follow him. <laughs> I follow that crab. We follow that crab. Yeah, I run after the crab. Scooby-Doo style. Yeah. Down the hall, through all the doors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, like, it's like, it's like up on walls, it's on the ceiling. Uh, uh, you very startling. Chase the crab up the stairs uh, to the main deck. Okay, all right, crab. Uh, as it settles itself on the ship's wheel. Iconic. I mean. And the weight of it turns the wheel ever so slightly as it just sits on one of the tines and you see the symbols begin to move and they start to form as a point appears.
disappears and a point and a point and a point, Lyra, as you now look mm. the very distinctive like, constellation pattern, and now you have a heading. Great. And the boat is pointed cool. in the correct direction. I think we should keep the crab and the crab sails the boat forever. <laughs> and it just like settles now. Yeah, we can just go where crab wants to go. I feel like crab only wants to go to witch. Yeah. We'll just keep going back to witch. Crab might have a new choice after a witch. I think Maybe crab we'll is destiny. I think crab, it's do you have a new cool. choice after yeah. witch? Is crab you have to say it crab? I'm sorry. <laughs> Roll for ship. <laughs> Four. Oh, oh, such a good ship. It's ship is shipping. Ship is shipping. <laughs> we ship the ship. <laughs> I ship it. So as an entity that has developed its own sentience. Yeah. Through a force of ship will, you somehow imbue this construct <laughs> with just the beginning little seeds or sparks or somethings of consciousness. As it be got a as friend, it I want a friend. As it begins to t t t t and speak crab yeah. back to you. Oh, oh. And it is incredibly unsure of what is happening because it was kind of just born. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Captain. Like see yesterday. Consciousness. Ha! <laughs> yeah. That's why they do be the captain. <laughs> yes. yes. I'm like, oh, that's rough, buddy. And I'm just clicking, just clicking. I'm just leaning uh, on, uh, like, on the part of the helm that connects to. Like the steering phone, sure. like, oh, tell me about it. Can and I? The, oh, sorry. As, at this point, uh, the sun is starting to set. It's not, you, you'll be able to find, you know yeah. essentially where the stars are, even when it is, when they have not risen. But at the same time, it is starting to, uh, night is starting to fall. It's been a, a long, very weird day for everybody. Uh, so you are able to begin to make out the patterns of those constellations and follow where this newly born creature leads. Happy birthday. <gasps> What's his name or her name or their name or its name? It's Grab. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Can I roll to recall anything about the witch? I know we all kind of got pulled away from her by Grace, but presumably we've met her or know legends about her. Yeah, um, you can roll like a, a knowledge. Um, okay, I, I I had so much ability to know things at eighty five percent, but I rolled a ninety seven. <laughs> I will tell you at least just the parts that I know, which is we definitely met her, uh, and she was supposed to meet with each of us one on one to help us try and bring back the previous captain. Mm -hmm. So we definitely like met her at the island and started the process but Grace cut it in the middle of the process. So she would potentially, I mean, I don't know how many customers the witch has every day. She might not remember us. We might be a dime a dozen. I don't know. But we have definitely met. A doubloon a dozen. A doubloon a dozen. Oh. Is, is there, um, because this place that we're going to is a place from my nightmares, is there a place or thing I remember or recall about like this the sand or that area from real life? From like when we visited? You know that this black sand was not from the location that the witch is for it is it is oh. something that she gave to you. So much and is connected. Okay, it is it is connected to the visions that you still but you have never been to the place that you've been dreaming about. Great, because that's where I thought we were going. <laughs> and I was like, cool, 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 cool. Tight, tight, tight. great. Ah. <laughs> great. <laughs> Feel good about this. <laughs> How long do we estimate the journey is going to be? Let's see them sailing. I can ask the crab. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's going to be, it'll be less than a week if the winds are favorable. Okay. <sighs> That's fine. Uh, we just have to watch out for the King's Guard and make sure mm -hmm. that we aren't being 
attacked by the king's guard and then we standard. have to look out for potentially um i don't know a captain in a rowboat because who knows how far she could have gotten on a rowboat uh and then we have to look out for potentially um of course belladonna coming after us because of the burning of oh. her ship yeah. and what's she uh, gonna chase us with good point good point rest of her fleet. oh mm. also good point <laughs> Um, oh, more ships I can be. Okay. I guess it's not her fleet anymore, so maybe. Could be Daya's fleet. Could be Daya's fleet by now. Uh, cool. Oh, and the sol Solus. The, the. And the, the. Yes. And then, like, the thing. The, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and just average, everyday, normal pirates. Yeah. Ooh, sea um, monsters. Right. Because the map said there, here there be monsters on it. Oh, I, I didn't know if I said that. That's uh, no. Sorry, no, that one's new for me. Yeah, it wasn't said out yeah. loud. So you Yeah, um What? I what? <clears throat> yeah, so also sea monsters, I guess. Um okay, well this is our first real voyage with me as your captain. So um I would like to I would like to do things different than um Captain Beckett did and you all know that Dis can hear you and I can't stop that that's your boat respect your boat um I don't want to surveil anybody I don't want to I don't want to do what Grace was doing to us wait what <clears throat> uh the previous captain Delilah did it too uh would occasionally have you report on discussions had by the crew the captains were spying on us mm-hmm all right. <clears throat> Snitches get stitches. You can certainly try. No, no, I, I'm being vaguely threatening just for fun. I would never. Okay. Um, I mean, you're doing your job. I mean, it's, you did nothing wrong. You no, know, yeah, I just no. think that it's a. I didn't. You let said them that always. you're doing something hmm? different. Huh? Well, no, sometimes the captain would ask about you, and I wouldn't always tell. I'd be like, oh, it's so hard to hear. There's so much sounds in the room. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Thank you guys are my friends. You're my friend. Uh, I, I only told about you because you were doing the in the wall. I think we could make a ship-wide policy that if someone is in danger. If you're dying, can I tell people? The oil lamp yeah, thing was course. very cool. I mean, yeah. I was fine. So if I'm dying, you could tell the crew. Okay. Same. If I'm dying, you can tell the crew. If Does I, water barf count as dying? You know what? We're going to say yes. Okay. okay. Um, we're going to say yes. Thank you for... Yes. Okay. If you're dying, should I tell people? You're going to say yes if I'm saying yes. I, yes? Are you lying? I, I can't be lying. I'm agreeing to surveillance. <laughs> <laughs> no, n no, but if you're in danger, we'll have to know if you're in danger. Right, no, that makes sense. Uh, should I also, maybe we could revisit the policy about um, when people are hooking up and kind of letting... Locked doors are... Okay. Oh, yeah, that's that's none of our business. Okay. Unless you say it is. In the, yeah, unless <laughs> we talk about it being everybody's business. If beforehand you're like, hey, I'm heading into the quarters, this... <laughs> Yeah. Like, if anybody is... <laughs> Sorry, yeah. are we coming up with a tie on the door system? Oh, if you put a tie on me. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I mean, since you're asking so nicely. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit of a separate part of the process. You would also have to establish if you want people to know about the ties. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, privacy unless specified otherwise. Yeah, great. That's... Uh, do you have other um, additional changes as our captain? Uh, not yet. Do you have a policy about um, boat or ocean magic? I mean, boat magic, that's ship magic, you. But ocean magic um, and other things like that? Uh, are, uh, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> listen, we have, we have a book, we have, the the sea that we are on. I'm just I'm just seeing where what you want to know about. Personally, I was raised to uh, treat the ocean with the respect it deserves, yes. which is understand that I will never understand it, um, and be terrified of it because it is 
terrifying. Un unknowable. Uh, right. And wonderful. With that in large. mind, um, you understand the ocean in ways I cannot. So I will trust your judgment on ocean magic. Thank Don't you. get us eaten, consumed, drowned, uh, uh, separated, yes. destroyed, uh, full of seaweed, ideally. <laughs> Um, that goes for yourself. Yeah. Most of those, I would say. Uh, um, great. Um, it would only be keeping us safe and together. Mind so. the monsters. Mind the monsters. That's all. That's good. Do we have a new flag? Oh my god, we have a new flag. Don't Do you want to name the boat again? Do you, Do you want to name pick the boat? Oh, I'm this. It's okay. You can, you can pick it. Well, I mean, you've been naming all of these boats you've connected to. Well, because they didn't have names. It's, well, they, I didn't, oh, we can oh. go back to it. <laughs> we'll come back to it. Okay. Yeah. Think about it. Hey, it's our first adventure. We should go on our first adventure mm -hmm. as <clears throat> this crew. Well, maybe we're going to die from the witch. Yep. Or the monster. We are not going to die from the witch. We're not going to die from the witch. Or the monster. Okay. Or the monsters. Yeah, and listen, we are, what is being a pirate without danger? We are so used to almost dying and surviving death. For some reason, telling people it's going to be okay as a captain, it feels very different than telling people it's going to be okay as a first mate. Yeah, because yeah, they're going to believe you. It's going to be okay. Uh, last? Are you lying? No. Okay. It'll be okay. I guess that's it. We've got a, a bit of a week ahead of us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everybody, yep. sleep up now. <laughs> I, I just get as much as you can this week. <laughs> <laughs> Boat pirate things. Do salutes, that's like naval. Do pirates do things when they acknowledge their captain? Aye, aye. Um, aye. So, yeah, I'll say aye, aye, and I, um, I <laughs> so I'll just drop a little aye, aye. Yeah, I'll drop <laughs> a little aye, aye, aye. And. Um, but I'll also do like, um, like a, like a fealty thing to you. Right on, right on your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> My punch. I'm so sorry. In, in this context <laughs> to so salute, sorry. we punch ourselves in the tits and mics. <laughs> I, I. <laughs> we have a new boat name. <laughs> it's it's and Mike. Salt and Serpent, Tits and Mike's new show. But yeah, I acknowledge you as a captain, our captain, give you uh, a firm I, I, and then go to the place where I look at this, this, the stars to like navigate. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh, quickly, question, mm -hmm. Captain. I haven't completed that yet. No rush. Because um, Captain Piper doesn't sound good at all. It sounds good, I, th I, but I understand why you feel that way. It's usually a last name sort of thing. Well, I think it's because it's two, like, jobs. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Piper job? Yeah, yeah, like the, the person that bites. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Accurate. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> Besides that, <laughs> <laughs> do you want us to just auditions? Yeah. You? <laughs> um, we'll pitch an alt on your name. My captain name should be Captain Price, but don't tell anyone else. You can call me that, but if we go into port, don't you say that name. I will not turn around. I will pretend like I don't know you. That is not my boat. That is not my crew then. Wait, were you also married? No. Oh, no. Um, that's my dad. <coughs> Captain Price is, uh, has his own vessel and is out there and owes a lot of people a lot of money. You've heard of Captain Price. Yeah. Captain Price, for context, is like notorious for not following like the pirate code in any capacity really like okay. there is no like there's no respect for the game whatsoever from the balcony in which i am like <laughs> looking i go um i'm yelling captain price is your dad <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. unfortunate yes just kind of i mean he's 
he has his, he has a, like a, a strange way of, he sees things differently than like mm. we do. Um, so if we go in and we're like, hey, Captain Price, I don't want people to think that we are with him uh, because we will be killed. Yeah, because he's done a lot of crimes. Bad. And not even like the fun kind. No, crimes against criminals. Right. And crimes against criminals will get you killed very quickly. But not that quickly because he's still alive? Hypothetically. Oh, okay. It's been a few years, but I hear things every once in a while when we're in a port. So, um, yeah, I just don't want us to... I don't want to make you all responsible for that. What? If our ship is called the Fortune's Fair, why don't you be Captain Fair? <laughs> That's really good. That's pretty good. Are you offering me your last name? <gasps> I mean. And the ship blushes. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go not hit an iceberg. <laughs> and I run to the front. Warm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are. If, if you've got a heading northeast, though, you are traveling towards cooler waters. Mm. That is technically something that could become relevant. Yeah, I'm going to make sure we don't die. Yeah. Captains <laughs> are able to perform oh, marriages so just the same. So and the, sh like the sea, there's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, people get married on the ocean all the time. That's married a thing. Like it's usually life. officiated by the captain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we don't rush it, I guess. We can revisit that. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> captain Fair is cool. I like it. Is there anything else that all of you would like to do as this journey to an old haunt gets properly underway? No, I mean, I'm just going to make sure that we all have eaten and, like, <laughs> are, like, well-rested. It's been, it's been a, a very bad time. Take a doubloon. <gasps> now you get doubloons for being nice to me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Then I'll say that the rest of the journey. I do spend the rest of the night oh. whittling uh, <laughs> Captain Fair, Mrs. Oh! Piper Fair. Oh, oh. oh so cute. Mrs. and Ship Fair. <laughs> <You're just so laughs> Mrs. and Ship. Ship plus Piper oh, in the woods. <laughs> just full Trapper Keeper. <laughs> That's so cute. That's incredible. I would actually. Um, at some point during like the yeah. week and during the journey, like to find some time with Diz. And yeah. it might be like an, a watch shift sure. or something. Um, the nights uh, steadily get colder. Uh, the cr uh, brand new hermit crab um, just bored, still glows, just but bored. is like clung on, like limpid onto that. Uh, onto that ship's wheel, holding it in place. So I'll that I was born here and I'll die here. <laughs> cool. Uh, <laughs> making sure that the, um, making sure that the ship stays on the right course. I think that while doing the kind of nightly routine of upkeep, now as we are Piper has become accustomed to speaking to you mm -hmm. um, as opposed to the way that she used to speak to the boat. Piper was always raised that a boat was always a woman. <laughs> so um, usually, and it's been a while since you've heard her do this, but usually when she is doing her maintenance, um, she always would talk you through everything uh, where she was putting things and um, would often just kind of like sit down in the lower decks organizing and telling you about some of the things that uh, she had seen when we docked um, before you ever responded. So tonight she is wiping down some of the like surfaces we eat on and like putting things away um, and you hear her just go I'm sorry I don't have more um, fun stories to tell you, what do you think? Uh, I think you feel, especially since you're like below decks, it would feel like the 
ship was sort of listing but instead of feeling like your gravity's moving at all you just feel like the ship is leaning towards you and it's just sort of listing i don't fully remember when you went from this to that like i do and it hasn't been that long but just so you know you were always like this to me i don't remember just around you as like a little bit of the canvas. Like it's still that like leaning in, <clears throat> but like this is on the masthead. I remember you always tell me stories and sometimes you ask questions, but I can tell the difference between the questions that sailors ask of the world. But then I remember you asked a question to me and in that moment, because I've been listening. I've listened for as long as you've been a crew member. Because I like how your voice sounds. The moment I realized you were asking me was when I realized I was me. And I wanted to say something back. So I'll ask you that now. How are you doing? <laughs> um. I'm going to give you the Piper answer, and it's not the Captain Fair answer. Okay. I don't like Captain answers. I don't like Captains very much. Shit. <laughs> um, I'm really scared, and you guys are the only thing that still makes sense. And even then, some of you, not sure fully. <laughs> yeah, the crab. The crab. <laughs> what are you scared of? I'm scared that I've been taken a fool my entire life and it has left me deeply ill-equipped and underprepared for what we're doing because I, I trusted people too much. I trusted them to, I trusted her to use her best judgment and I followed. Captain Beckett. Yeah. I know that I really wanted to be home and I think that the thing I am realizing is that my loyalty and my affection and my care and my love and my efforts that I thought were in service of my captain were always for you. I'll always take care of you. And I will always protect you. I love you so much. I am real. Because of you. You are real because of you. A lot of people were just too foolish to ask. <laughs> Not everyone cares enough to. I'll kill them all. I'll kill everyone. Even your bad dad, if you want, or don't want. I don't know what having a dad is, so I'm not really. I'm not sure I do either. I think if you get married to a man, you don't like them. Yeah. So I don't know what a dad is. Is that like a husband, but old? Uh, no. Okay. Um, do you get mom? No. None of nope. it. Nope. Okay. No, I was just checking. I was I'm just checking what you picked up. Yeah, no, I, I figured. Um, I'm not qualified to answer that because uh, I don't think I'd be setting a very good example if I told you about mine. So I suppose the lesson of it all is no men. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Understood. Now the crab is a man, but can we keep him? There is a conundrum of, is a crab a man? Mm. He can stay. Okay. How about no uh, human men? Oh, done. <laughs> done and done. Won't let him on the boat. Okay. I think that, uh, I think the boat's just us now. I like that very much. I don't understand what it is about being a captain that changes people. You said earlier that, um, that you trusted Beckett. 
I think it can be true that she did her best for us and was very wrong. And I don't know if it's the hat or what you owe people when you have to protect them. But I hope with my whole heart that you're a different kind of captain. Because I've never seen anyone like you. I hope I am too. And I don't look great in the hat. I tried it on. You look great. It's not. You always look great. Maybe the word captain can be redefined, and captains are kind of like dads. Are we killing dads? <laughs> not yet. We're not killing captains or dads yet. <laughs> okay. But it's not off the table. I think at this point you hear a knock on the door and like dis as the masthead is on the other side of it. I will open the door for you because you always open your doors uh, and I will hold the door for you and close it behind you. Thanks. <laughs> you can't do that. Well, now I'm too shy. <laughs> Anyways, how, what else did anybody else get up to? Daddy Piper. Daddy Piper. <laughs> and uh, Captain the Daddy. Door Daddy. Door <laughs> Daddy. I was going to say, yeah. Not, I was yeah. Gonna say, Our sort of fade to black is just this as the door locking itself. The way it's about to be Captain Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> before we go to the witch. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. anything else that, you, that anyone would like to do before you land? <laughs> I would like to, while their door is locked in the evening, I would like to try to um, uh, commune with my heart uh, as a <laughs> way to touch base with my ex-husband. Okay. Oh, so it is a Chasing Our Exes kind of episode. Yeah. Yeah. It's not funny. <laughs> and how are you doing that? Yeah, uh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, and where are you doing that? Yeah, uh huh. Where is Lyra? <laughs> uh, mm, right. What what time is it? Like, night time. The middle. The middle of the night. The I'm, I'm so I don't know. Middle. When did the door lock? <laughs> I don't have a sense of time. Time was a little lost on me this evening. <laughs> <laughs> the night time. The middle. Just the night time. The night time. Yeah, I'll, I'll middle. be in my room. Great. I'll be on deck. Uh, I'll yeah. be in the crow's nest. I Exterior. want to be as far night. from <laughs> the, from this chicken as humanly possible. This is sweet, sweet girl. And you are also as far away from the water as possible. Is yeah. that intentional? I'm trying to get like a, a view, you know? Okay. Like I'm trying to see the lay of the, the water. <laughs> so. <laughs> Eyes to Underrated. the horizon. <laughs> Eyes to the horizon, in the chill, uh, we'll call this even uh, maybe towards the end of this journey. Hmm. You are sitting in the crow's nest. What are you doing? I am reaching down into the depths of the ocean to try to access that beating of my heart. And it's a lot harder this time than it was when I did it for Lyra, and when I did it out of spite, <laughs> it keeps getting more and more difficult. Um, which is why I feel like I need like a view. Um, in doing this, uh, times when I really try to access magic like that, my skeletonness becomes more. You feel it start to creep and climb up mm -hmm. the yeah. rest of your frame. And that's one of the reasons I'm so perturbed that Lyra has different fingers. So that's what you're doing as you reach out for it to try and get a grasp, a very bony, skeletal grasp on your heart. Are you attempting to communicate? Are you trying to say something? Well, it's mine, so I sure. feel like I should be able to access it, but it's, it's similar, I imagine, it feels like when you don't recognize your own reflection. And you're it is also to grasp. something that you did give away. I did, yeah. I'm trying still yours? to grab at it <laughs> antagonistically. I'm trying to get the attention of the person who owns it now. How? 
by making it beat loudly, telltale heart style. Like I want it to be annoying and it's attention seeking. I want it, to, a guilt would be lovely. That's not going to happen. I just want it to effectively act like a throbbing alarm. You sit in that throb for a moment. The as it gets louder and louder. And for a moment, you're not sure you're gonna get a response. And then you hear that laugh again, that chuckle. Have you forgotten how to use your words, beloved? Is he here or do I just hear his voice? You just hear the voice. And you just, it's almost like at the nape of your neck, you feel something, a presence. I know your flair for drama. Silence. Why do you stay down there so long? Are you afraid to come back up? Silence. What is it with all of my exes making me beg? <laughs> You're welcome, TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> it is when you are the prettiest. Mm, please come here. Roll for sleep. <laughs> Bro, I'd risk it all for this one man. <laughs> what? what? I like it. <laughs> sorry, I like it. No, sorry, we get it now. Yeah, yeah we, we no, super we're get it. it. We're, we're still it. on your side, but we see we, it. Like, uh, we're it. still yeah. for you, but yeah. like, also we now understand. What, we like, understand how you, how you got to this yeah. point. <laughs> Everyone. What? That was a. I have to give you a good justification. You're welcome. Uh -huh. anyway. That was a sixty under eighty. Ooh. I am the prettiest when I beg. <laughs> I get down on my knees in the crow's nest and I say, please, oh please, Davy Jones, will you make an appearance for me? I miss you. It's subtle at first. As you're looking uh, over the horizon, and suddenly, near the ship, uh, just over the side, the tide begins to like churn and bubble, and suddenly a water spout begins to kind of erupt from. I bet it does. The sea uh, <laughs> beneath you. You asked them to come. You did. <gasps> <laughs> you stay in your locked room, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the ship's distracted right now. <laughs> it's kind of a very specific thing on their mind. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, and you see that like tall, broad, like brawny figure. Uh, it's, there's no way to make this not phallic. Rising from the sea, uh, uh, standing on that like platform, reaching the same height as the crow's nest, as he. Uh, puts a hand over the side of the like basket structure of it and steps through it. Um, his form frothing like the ocean for a moment as it just like becomes almost intangible as it and a wave of ocean water, which is like one of the first times that you have been like in contact with seawater for a long time, just kind of washes over the uh, the crow's nest as he, he faces you for the first time in a very, very long time. You never stopped running, and now he's here. I know that I miss the ocean because I even like that my shoes are soaked through standing there, and I quietly in my head apologize to this for inviting a stranger onto the ship. 
just said no man no on it's ship. yeah it's just definitely like in the gray. middle of whatever's happening there i'm like there's a man on me continue <laughs> <laughs> would you like to describe what he looks like be specific so specific <laughs> <laughs> Well, he is, I think, dauntingly tall mm -hmm. and very broad of shoulder, um, strong and muscular in the way that he has absolutely no right to. Those people that you're like, oh, you were born with a six pack. Mm -hmm. um, and incredibly dark skin, long braids of hair that are entwined with bits of gold. One thing he and I share is that we both quite like gold. So he is very flamboyantly dressed, um, a lot of jewelry, but he wears solid black clothing. So these, it looks like blinks of stars on him where he has these gold details. And when he smiles, that kind of crooked smile, his teeth flash like a goddamn Colgate commercial. Um, does he have one, does he have gold in his teeth? Oh, you know those little like, um, when people put the little like spot, like yes, yeah, okay. just one uh, on the like crooked side, of course. Um, and I think even though he is, has like a very stereotypically like masculine body, he's got very like femme details of like incredibly well manicured hands and like little like winged eyeliner. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> Is there a tie on the doorknob? Can we all be a part of it? Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 didn't specifically say we could, so. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that I made that rule not tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um. And because of the entity that he is, uh, there is absolutely a a fluid sensuousness to the way that he moves as he uh, like fully approaches you and stands very solidly, but there is a gloat and a self-satisfied, smug demeanor with just a hint of something else. And you recognize it even now. And it's that little shine of something that sent you down to the depths to begin with. And he still has it. And we are in a very small crow's nest and mm -hmm. I am still kneeling and still up to my knees. knees in ocean water. <sighs> and he's very aware of exactly how he's standing and where you are and all of the people around you. I am going to immediately stand up. Um, that was so quick. <laughs> you always have been. And then I'm going to it's not true. do the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the shoulder push, Kaylee, that you are familiar with. <laughs> um, and <laughs> I can't look over there. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Great, it's great. Everyone's doing great. Continue. <laughs> As though we are not here. <laughs> Ignore. I'm going to do the shoulder push. Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me I could pass the curse along to innocent people. Beloved, a curse. I'm heartbroken. A gift for you. How? How is it a gift? Be specific. I'm interested. I want to hear you talk. You know I can tell when you're lying. I'm not lying. You are. I'm Never. exaggerating the truth. You wanted the power. You made the deal. The vow. A power that is now primarily inaccessible. Fine. Broken vows can do that. Fine. A life force that is dwindling quickly. Fine. When you are a hammer 
everything looks like a nail. When you are a killer, every person looks like a corpse. I do not want to live that way anymore. And what would you have of me? You have called me here to keep you from killing? I have Why? called you here to make a new deal. Oh. And curious now, but with an annoying, irritating level of confidence. He again like fluidly moves and, and the like platform of water forms so that he just sits and he like pats his knee oh, for you. Yes! Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And what are the new terms of this new deal? Marlo. I will sit on his knee. And with a familiarity that uh, takes you by surprise. His hand will like settle at the base of your neck as he looks into your eyes, a seriousness there. He takes business very seriously. And without even paying attention, I have sat here before. I think my body knows exactly how to adjust to be comfortable and fluid. I, I want to help one person. And I believed that if I left my heart with you, I would be unable to love. And I'm sure that's what you believe too. The problem with loving captains is you think love is control. And I without my heart, have found someone that I love because loving someone is just what you are. It is inextricable from your being and there is no part or parceling. And it is not what you can do with them, it is what you can do for them. And what can you do for this new love? I just don't want her to end up in the dark where you put me. I didn't put you there. Where I put myself. I where we lived for a very long time. And you've done it again, haven't you? You have found a new lover in the darkness. And you have joined them in the darkness again. And just like you have done to me, you are rising me to the surface, pulling me into this light. And I don't belong there. Do you really think that they do? Aren't you trying to control me too? I don't love you, not like this. This is business. And if she wants to be happy or wants to live differently or wants to live at all, I want to be in service of that goal. And I cannot do it if her death comes for her slowly by my hand. And what are your terms? Allow me this year, or these weeks, we will see how long it takes me to spend what remains of this life that you have granted me. A generous term at its best. That's up to you. Stop keeping me from the little power that remains in my heart. Granted that access, I will come back to you. Whether that be for you to dispose of me in the manner of your pleasing, keep in a box and never look at again, or tote around like a pet, give me 
this small time to give what remains of my life to someone else's good. You truly think so little of me. That your return would be something so trivial? I will make use of your spirit if that's what you are selling. This is business. I cannot grant you more than what you already have. If you want your heart back, and then you hear the as he just appears to produce it out of thin air. I can return it to you, and you can live out the time it has left, but you chose to drain it. The broken vow remains unless you make a new one in the same spirit, and I don't think that you can. But I will give you what remains, what troubles your new bauble is not of my making. But in the interest of a fair trade, I can provide you something that will help. Do you agree to these terms? Yes. And in a swift motion, he will brace you by the shoulder and shove your heart back into your chest. I like it. <laughs> and it you feel almost the like blinding pain and it is it's it's like the the injury where you carved it out yourself for him but in reverse it is the same blinding amount of pain and it feels like it lasts an eternity and it feels like it is over in a moment as your body like feels like it is a hot white heat as you like start to feel like your muscles expand again. You still have your skeletal hands as you take a breath in an odd way for the first time and you are tired, you are exhausted. And he supports you. He still has you in his arms supporting you uh, as you readjust to living of a kind. And he will in his uh, other hand, uh, like a chain appears, um, like a necklace chain, with a, uh, a pendant on it uh, made of gold. Uh, just a, like a plain like oval with like beaten, like hammered detailing. This will help. It can shield as much as my power can allow your friend from the other powers that appear to be circling you all. You do get entangled in the most interesting nets, beloved. And I will see you soon. And then he'll just, in a rush of water, disappear and leave you like bump uh, as you just drop into the crow's nest. Knowing that he will hear me, I say very quietly as I stand and look out to where he was, still like feeling the warmth of him where he was against me. I would have loved you for And you never loved me. And it is gonna be hard getting back down the crow's nest. It Living is be. very painful. Yeah. <sighs> Probably coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> there was a man on the boat? Mm, mm-hmm. He's gone now. <clears throat> Is what? everyone just hanging out down there? Um, we've come up now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're making our way up. I 
can because we're on the boat for like a week yeah. right so not everything happened on the same day perhaps yeah perhaps. i will say though because it helped to have this being yeah that is um I'm calling the captain's quarters <laughs> <laughs> that happened at the same time yes. um on a different night can i do something real quick oh absolutely great um this is a we don't come out during the day none of us yeah nope. <laughs> Uh, this Yar. is a completely different <laughs> night. Um, I just wanted to. Um, Lyra is at the the back of the boat, um, so the boat is moving forward. The um, and then the water. You can see like how the water is moving under the boat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I'm sitting on the ledge, looking into the ocean, and um, because of everything that's happened, I just want to say a quick prayer to the ocean for safe passage. From my bag, I am pulling out um, rose petals and watching them fall behind the ship. Um, pebbles from um, a beach uh, mixed with sand, and I take off the signet ring. This ring that means um, this means power. This means status. Means protection. I throw it into the water. Hmm. Each of you take a doubloon. <gasps> Aww. That's it. Ooh, uh, Serena, take two. Yay. Mm. You're killing it. I have, I have a little treasure over here. I feel I like I should get a doubloon for banging the captain. You don't know what these mean. And we don't know what happened when it faded to black. <laughs> I feel like I just said. <laughs> <laughs> I think we know. <laughs> Captain's blushing. <laughs> Do the gems just mean Belladonna, or is yeah. it like all the bad people? You don't know what they. I mean. want a gem. So I want a gem badly. so bad. They're so I pretty. I think you should get one for Smooch and Davy Jones. Oh yeah, you can have a gem. You actually should take um. <gasps> Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. We're trying to assess what it means by when you Wait, get them out. Wait, is this one heart shaped? I know there's a heart shape. Oh, there's, there's a heart shaped one. Yeah. I, have, I have it ready. Let me throw it. No, you throw it. You what throw color it. is it? Green. Green. Like the ocean. I want a red one. <laughs> you haven't got red hearts. Yeah, yeah take a uh, take a gem. I'll take a green one. Uh, you got it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 Woo, y'all did so it. badly. <laughs> I'm gonna switch mine for a green one. I just sit on that man's knee, y'all. Sir, stop acting like we weren't over here. Like, okay, <laughs> let me just okay. one. I take his curse. <laughs> to steer me daddy. Steer me daddy. Yeah. End of list. End of list. <laughs> oh, Everything else, I can't read out loud. <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah, bro did say you have a type. <laughs> Sorry, anyway, what a good scene and you should continue your story. Uh, cool. uh, good to know that everyone has picked their favorite NPC. Anyway, um, you begin to see uh, land kind of forming in the distance, and as you approach, it is this vaguely familiar, you've really only been here the once, island. It has now begun to feel pretty cold, like there's a bite to the air, and this island is like just a, really just a rock. It's all really too small for a name. And you know from previous experience that it is ringed with razor sharp reefs that are like maze like around the island. Difficult to uh, difficult to navigate. You've done it before and you know you can do it again. It's just gonna slow you down. Mm -hmm. Is the hermit crab still helping out? Oh, hermit crab still helping out. Um and Diz and I are really good at avoiding stuff. Right. So good it's at avoiding just stuff. Feelings, yeah. rocks, yeah. weeds. Yeah, yeah. We're we're different kinds of avoidance. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Doors, <laughs> kicks down doors. <laughs> yeah, but you are able to approach the shore fairly quickly mm -hmm. um, with the working together. You are now faced again with the familiar dwelling of the witch from your past. Everybody hold hands. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could actually do it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cobbled yeah. together from the remains of several shipwrecks, the majority of this structure is half of an upturned galleon 
uh, shoved against a cliffside. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, you, can all, you can still see that the keel on the underside is covered with these razor sharp, broken off barnacles. And impossibly, the, there is a like staining effect like running down it uh, that is still like impossibly vibrantly red. Remnants of a keel hauling or 20. Nice. Seemingly just untouched by the elements. Uh, and you see that there is a, a doorway there uh, covered by some sailcloth and netting uh, and a, the glimmer of lantern light uh, peeks through it. Whatever we see or hear, we do it together. We do it together. Are we all saying that? We do it to get, we don't I have mean, to, we, we don't have to do that. We don't have to make you're it perfect. Like a thing. <gasps> hey, you're great. Uh, How are you? No more secrets. No more secrets. This way then. Okay. You're not agreeing. You, why did you have a secret that you wanted to share, Marlo? Do you feel like you need to don't get something off of your me. chest? Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Why? Do you, do you look different? No, I don't. Don't do this to me. How's that exposed scar that you were always uh, showing on your chest? How mm -hmm. does that look? Above game, how does that look? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like above game, like do you look different? Uh, no, my skeleton hands are still intact. Uh -huh. Skeleton hands are still okay. intact. Okay, scar? Right. You have specifically described that we can see the scar. Mm -hmm. So many toyamas. So what's up with that? <laughs> okay, so where once it was like a really jagged red, like uh -huh. angry, not fully healed scar, now it's like a little silvery guy. Like, you know, it's been a long time. So again, I say, <laughs> is there something you'd like to get off of your chest? <laughs> I'm a doctor. How close are you all together? <laughs> Very, Very close. We were, we were walking, walking holy hands. hands. We were walking in holy hands. I thought that was just for fun. Oh, it was so we stay together. And safety. Last time we all I just don't feel like we got separated last we're time. We're going into a scary place. We should have our pistol hands free, but okay. Oh, that's Does so anyone everybody roll to see if you notice her heartbeat. For that's what I wanted to do. Feel it in <laughs> yeah. her pulse. I'm gonna make it a listen check. I'm uh, rolling, I don't know why. I will also make it a listen. Roll then. the conceal uh, heartbeat? Yeah, well, okay. I succeed. Oh, I, I succeeded at stealth, yo. Oh, how do I conceal? How do you heartbeat? stealth your heartbeat, <laughs> bro? <laughs> I'm just, I just wanted to roll the dice again. <laughs> I have holding a success. Shut the. I got a success. I got a failure. I also failed. You get to decide. Don't Has be like this, Captain. Captain. You're right. It is that way. I will continue in. I want to very pointedly let go. You're of kind of benevolent, Captain. Hmm? Sorry, uh, pointedly going to let go of Marlo's hand and hold my harpoon uh, tightly with the other. I am just like completely oblivious to, <laughs> it, the vibes are weird, but yeah. the vibes are weird because the island's weird and we're gonna see a scary witch. So I'm just like next to you walking. Cool, goal accomplished. Thank you. Uh, Piper does lean in and just go, we will talk later. Yeah, cool, later. Time oh, and place. I just want later. You push your way through the sailcloth and netting, um, your like clothing and weapons catching on uh, little charms that have been like dangling and woven in as you make your way in, you see uh, a main room warmed by a driftwood fire, uh, throwing off blue and green and yellow sparks. Uh, there is another curtain across from you, this main room, uh, that obscures a rift in the rock that leads down further into a warren of caves in the cliff side. And as you enter in from behind you, you just hear a soft voice. She did say you were going to follow her. I forgot how cool this place is. Thank is you. that what it's like when I just talk in places? Yes, it is. I will turn Hello. around. <laughs> I will turn around with my hand on my pistol. And uh, you see uh, a figure unchanged from the last time you saw her, which is odd in itself. Uh, but uh, the witch Oleander is a creature of contradiction. Mm. Uh, 
Uh, she has her, the same lovely unlined features, but a steel, almost blue-gray head of hair and a hunched, twisted physique that still manages to move with a boneless grace, like a buoyant energy almost. Her teeth and her gaze are a little too sharp, and she is still speaking in those tangled phrases that make a kind of half sense. Hi. You mean her as in Grace? I want it. Yes. Good. So you know where Grace is? Right now? Yeah, I mean, or what? What? I don't know. You said she would follow, so that means that Grace was here. You would follow her? Y yes. Mm -hmm. And we did, so. We did. You're so interesting. You have grown. Yeah. Her fingers are not wrong. That's right. They're, they're tappier. I'm just like, with the phone. <laughs> it's click grab. Yeah, it's just, oh, you speak crab. I speak crab. <laughs> oh, I brought the crab. Yes, good. Ah. This yours? Mm? I think Ours? it belongs to itself now. <gasps> yeah. Where do you want to go, bud? We'll just like hunker down. Oh, buddy. He wants to stay with you. Oh, my buddy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you know why we're here then. We did come to follow her. Grace Beckett was our captain. And Grace Beckett deserted us. Or was taken because they were hiding something from us, which we're assuming you know a lot about, because you're a really cool witch. Uh, and you know what these symbols are on the crab, and also, um, can I have the book real quick? <laughs> this book <laughs> here? Uh, oh. So, um, you know, we're just, we're just trying to suss it out because we want to make sure Grace isn't dead. She was alive. Alive when I saw her. Okay, Pause. checking in on the word Pause. alive. I don't know, I felt like that was a weird little... Yeah, that was... Alive, alive like me or alive like her or alive like her? You're alive. Oh, that's was she different. empty? No. Okay. Driven, okay. driven. Little Grace, see? <laughs> Are you driven like Grace? I feel it, the fire, the water. Mm. The earth. You can seek the same. You can see where she goes. I can give you what I gave her. But nothing for nothing. Mm. What have you brought to trade? First of all, no, we are not like her. Secondly, I don't know that you threw that ring in the ocean, but I want you to know that now would be a great time to have a valuable ring. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, I don't. Um, okay, well, we are both wearing potentially cursed necklaces. Uh huh. 100% was thinking the same thing, like, which we haven't checked on being cursed recently. Roll for curse. Can we have <laughs> at least checked once on our week? Sure, roll for curse. Okay. Uh, and that was an insight? Mm hmm. Um, Can I also roll this to you? Yeah. Is sure. I have a success. I got the first 69 of the game. You won. We win. We win. Yeah. You won. Yeah. 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 <laughs> do you want to be cursed or do you not want to be cursed? I don't want her to be cursed, so I would prefer to be cursed over but Piper. If, I don't want anybody to be cursed. I mean, but obviously, I but that's not the option. Yeah. I do not want Piper to be cursed. I have a 43 over, or a 43 under 59. Um, should I success? Oh, I also succeeded. I just succeeded sexy. <laughs> nice. Take I appraised it. How valuable the, oh, How about that? Ah, I'm good to know training. This first yeah. 69 of the game. Yes. Thank uh, you. This was appraising. That was appraising. Yeah. Oh, it succeeded? Yeah. Nice. I don't know how to check for magic. Uh, I don't know what magic is. All right. I'm just so, vibe checking to feel if I feel cursed. Vibe check. Mm -hmm. Cursed? Mm -hmm. So I will say this. Your appraisal 
reveals that you think that this item feels different. Mm. And your vibe check, you do not feel cursed. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you do not want her to be cursed. And so as you kind of investigate this object, you realize that this item is indeed cursed. However, it is only triggered if the wearer sheds blood, their own blood. Important clarification. Yeah. If, if, so um, it's, it's, take it's, it off. it's activated if they are bleeding. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, yours is for sure gonna be the bargain. Okay, great. Um, sorry, was that for a little while? I was just sorry for giving away the beautiful necklace that you gave to me. Oh, I'm sorry for... Uh, I take off the necklace. Uh, it was layered with my locket and I offer it to her. She'll look at it. This one feels different. It does feel different. Is that spice? This has no value to you. Why should I give you something that I value? If you give me something that does not, you do not value. Mm. Oh, oh that's good. Let's cuddle back. Do you, you value our captain? I value my knowledge. I value my power. I share that with you. We value our stuff as pirates. She will put it over her neck and in a swift motion immediately slash open her palm. And as she bleeds. <gasps> Some curses are good. She'll like lift the pendant and like. Because <laughs> you would not value this. Oh. Well, can we have it back? No. But you do. But you value it. Mm. What's that? No, no. I no. take off the second necklace that I was wearing. No, no, no. Uh, my locket that I always wear. And I hold it out to her. Now this is important. Yes, it's important. I don't think this is a good idea. I mean... There's other things. This way gets you everything. Shoot. Are you sure? Isn't that? Okay. And she'll take it. And then. Oh. I love her. I would so die for cool. her. <sighs> Do we have to have a necklace back? You don't want it. Not a good curse. What does it do? Feel your shadow. Huh. I don't like that curse. Hold on. You hold on to that. You need your shadow. Do you not know? What happens if you lose it? And then she'll look behind her. And in the firelight, she doesn't have a shadow. And she hasn't since she walked in. Come see, come see. <laughs> Okay, I gave you the only physical thing that I have. Tell, tell us. She's making a bargain. She is traveling. She is looking. She came to ask for the way. Who is she making a bargain with and where did she go? I don't know if I can make the name. You ate my locket. Yes. I'm she gonna need you to search really hard for that name. She didn't tell me the name. It is a power, it is the power, the other power. It is the sea. It's the sea. She came for a song. Do you want the song? Yeah, for a locket you ate? Feels right. A song for a song. I am not a singer. You are. Not like that. You can sing. No. We'll talk about that one later. That's, I've never, I've never spoken to this 
which in my life. But you did. Who did? She was a singer. He's a singer. Like you. That was very valuable, I can tell you that too. You feel her. You can go look. You might meet her. Your captain is chasing something and she thinks she is winning, but she is not. The deeps win. The ocean wins. She asked for something important, a way to go. A song. Why? Why a song? It's the way it's hidden. But you know. I know. What? You know where to go. You know more than she does. We can't. We can't go there. Is it there? It is where she is going. I know the way. You know the way in. I'm gonna take out a map. Ah. Does this look familiar to you? I should look at it. I, I'm holding the map. I'm not giving the map. Just so. Yeah. And like she like her, she'll do the like claw reach out, but she won't touch it. And I think it's so cool. By the way, I am doing my best not fangirl all over you. Continue. No. Someone knows the way. I know the way. You know the way in. Wait, I know the way in. That's different than knowing the way to. Yes. So you can tell us how to get there and Lyra can get us in. Yes. Okay. That next is when you tell us how to get there. Which you are very powerful. Yes. And you've been around, you look exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Um, we've changed, I've gotten older, um, but you've stayed the same. How? Are you human? I want to know that too. No. Hmm. Is she? Mm hmm Is the one in the picture? Her. No. No. Your captain? For now, I think. Depends on what the lady says. Who's the lady? That's the lady. That's the name she did say. She said the lady? Sort of. What? From the song. How are you going to give us the song? I can tell you. Tell yes. us. You want the song? Yes, Love please. the song. The acoustics in here are incredible. And she will, uh, eyes focusing for a second, having fully talked herself in circles to get here, mm -hmm. she'll start to like, rhythmically chant a rhyme uh, in a like, shanty style. Um, the crab you see, you see it like dip its claws in ink as it starts to transcribe it for <gasps> for you, like for her. Um, Not my head, on the paper. Who has the paper? I have paper here. <laughs> um, on the charts even, as you, as yeah. you see it, you it's see it um, almost like underneath the symbols that uh, are inscribed on the map, you see it writing in the common tongue underneath as though translating in these like lines of text of symbols that you have yet to uh, translate. Mm -hmm. So long she sleeps locked in the deeps. Sleep on, me lady, sleep on. The waters rise when she opens her eyes. Sleep on, me lady, sleep on. The snake eats its tail the day she prevails. Sleep on, me lady, sleep on. Blood of the beast on the gate to the east. Sleep on, me lady, sleep on. Declare a side to turn the tide. Sleep on, me lady, sleep on. Wield wonder in the wake of woe. 
Sleep on, me lady, sleep on. As above, so below. Sleep on, me lady, sleep on. Which is a catchy tune. I yeah. like it. It's really good. She did not have that. Have the song? Have that? You know how to get in. Are you pointing at the book? Are you pointing at the map? Are you pointing at me? She's pointing at both. Okay. She's pointing just at you holding the things. Great. That was a good trade. You can take a thing if you want. And she'll like gesture to um, a like ramshackle like shelf of odd looking odds and ends. It's just like the dentist's office. Yeah, yeah so we were good. good. Be careful. Choose well. Can I roll sense to, to choose well? To help the choosing? Sure. I'd like to roll for like a spot. So yeah, go ahead. I got a 20 under 50 to try to sense the magic. Sure. I got a 26 under 43 for spot. Great. Uh, so so what I will say, <laughs> um, with those rolls, you are able to comb through the odds and ends of this like little crow's nest of like stuff that she's collected and uh, pick something that you need. Instead of picking an item mm -hmm. while people are looking um, at the, the bits and the baubles, I'd like to, as my thing, pick knowledge oh. um, and roll a cult. Okay. Um, and as an aside, I'd like to go to Oleander with the book, and um, and I say, you know, probably more about me than I know about me right now. <laughs> I do the same thing. It's quite jarring. I laugh and then I look concerned. Um, I rolled a fifty-seven under sixty-three, um, and I say, can you help me read this without? Um, getting lost? Yes. And so can she. Yeah. Or you can choose to get lost. There is power there. The most power is there. But it is costly to go that far, that deep. So, uh, very quietly, a little frantically, um, Lyra kind of like grabs your arm and looks at you. It is not aggressive, it's more of, um, I don't know, pleady? Intense. <laughs> intense, it's just very intense right now. Um, no, I grab you and I look at you and I say, have you been there? Have you been into the deep, in the darkness? Have you seen what is below? So I haven't. Yes, you have. You speak to her. Like Grace does. Did you not know? Does Grace who speak? Who you talk to when you talk? Do you know where your loyalties lie, little fish? To the sea. Right? Are you sure? To my friends? To the ocean? Do you know if that is the same? No. Choose a side. I have a thing for you. Okay. There's another shell, but it looks as though it's like been fashioned into like an ornament for um, like almost like a hair piece. It's beautiful, but it looks old. It's a little heavy. A trinket for a trinket. What? You know where she is. You know where she is. She knows where you are. When I turn back around instinctively, because this is something Piper usually does when she feels like she's not in control of a situation, her eyes kind of flash and catch the light in the room for a second and she closes them to reach out for 
the trinket. You'll place it in your hand. You don't really feel any different, but it there's a familiarity to it that is odd to you. Will you help me put it in my hair? Mm. Yeah, of course. You're very good at new look. <sighs> <laughs> Adorable. Bray party. <laughs> it's better than a hat. Yeah. It suits you. And in a moment of clarity, she's looking at you differently. You could actually do it, you know. Change things if you want. If you decide. Do you know the enemy you face? You've nope. met them before. The Solas. You want to hang on to what you have, yes? Very much so. Do not let them touch you. So you've heard. She got something to help with that. Gloves? Is it gloves? Is it gloves? Is it just Is it gloves? gloves? Like a high elbow glove? No. Yes. No. Do you have something like that that can help us? You have given me importance. I can give you safety. Maybe. And she'll pull out a like little roll of cloth and as she <laughs> lays it out, you see like a set of bone razor sharp needles. Yeah, stab it. Okay. You want me to protect your flesh? You want to stay full? Not I, empty? I don't have full, but I do want to not be empty. Also, that doesn't have flesh. flesh. That's what I meant. Also, oh, I can it do has that. Not all flesh. And she'll, um, like raise a sleeve and you start to see like the like scrolling line work of elaborate tattoos that uh cut like you realize like cover a whole side of her body i can help okay are we worried i'm not worried this you seem only good and helpful thank you okay yeah i find a blank spot <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, um, on one side is like the unfinished map. And so looking at Marlo. Mm -hmm. Is, is there a catch? That's a good idea. I think that is up to you. Elaborate. There is a time where it is in, I am in charge and then there is a time where you're in charge. Oh, like a possession. Elizabeth, are you hearing this? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought this was a private moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, so essentially, we can, you can, you would tattoo us, and then your consciousness would be here in the tattoo? Is that what you're saying? Or would you like me to come? Not like that, not like that. No consciousness in, on any of our bodies. Uh, All right. I think it's just like a, a protection. Like a ward? I bet that's a word for it. Because you said so. Is that accurate? When they touch you, you want to stay full. Full of our soul? Mm. Yes? Yes, I do. Yes, here. Okay. Okay. Yes. And she will begin heating the needles over the fire uh, as the... Um, Crab kind of just like trundles up next to her. Um, and there is another um, dish of black sand that she heats and it begins to like melt and change as it becomes this uh, odd, like viscous ink. It's black sand? It is the black sand. <laughs> Who would like to go first? I'll go first. And she'll reach out to you. And that is where we'll end it for today. Oh, Yay! Yay! Sweet tattoos! Six Woo! tats, bro. Six tats, bro. Thank you all so much for joining us for this episode. Uh, we have one more 
before the, uh, that will be the finale of this adventure. Uh, I'm sure everything will be fine. Everything seems fine. Uh, thank you so much to Chaosium for sponsoring us and uh, providing the basic role-playing system for us to get a little chaotic with <laughs> and uh, meet everyone's ex, uh, husbands, lovers, boyfriends, girlfriends, fiancés, business partners? <laughs> Sometimes all of the above. Sometimes all of the above. We will see you next Sunday. Uh, but before we go, let's meet our crew one more time. Hello, I'm Sage Ryan, and I have been your captain, Piper Fair. Mm. Oh, oh, amazing. Hi, I'm Abrea Iyengar. I've been Dis, your boat. <laughs> your love boat. Oh. 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 Hey, I'm Rowan Hall. I have been Marlo Clark, your curse accepting Skelly girl. <laughs> Hi, I'm Serena Marie. I have been Lyra, your navigator and compass to the deep. Ooh. Ooh. I mean. And I am Kaylee Bray, and I have been your ex. I'll <laughs> 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 we'll see you next week, everybody. So long she sleeps locked in the deep. Sleep on, my lady, sleep on. The waters rise from open eyes. Sleep on, my lady, sleep on. Snake eats its tail when she prevails. Sleep on, my lady, sleep on. We'll wander in the wake of woe, for as above and so below. Sleep on, my lady, sleep on. The garden stand, bones in black sand. Sleep on, my lady, sleep on. Blood of the beast, gates to the east. Sleep on, my lady, sleep on. Declare a sign to turn the tide. Sleep on, my lady, sleep on. We'll wander in the wake of woe, for as above and so 